<laughs> Welcome into Sterling Original Time Pieces. We have two hours that we are going to be sharing with Larry Megan here. You just a moment ago saw the, uh, the uh, animation they're talking about, the big 200th Jubilee show in honor of Sterling's uh, visit there. We're going to have some very special price points and some special opportunities for you. Two hours with Larry, and then Carmel is going to join me for an hour of 925 Fusion Jewelry. So, real good things in store for you. Let's take a look at some of the items that are going to be coming up later on in the show. As we begin with our Sterling Original Emperor Dual Time Zone Strap Watch, priced at $140. Um, and some clearance pieces, too. This is one of them. Clearance price of $149.07. Four value payments of $37.27. The 9094. Then, by the way, we do have uh, gold tone black and rose tone black. That remain. Then later in the hour, we'll give you an opportunity on one of the, one of the more contemporary designs. The Gen X. Quartz movement there. Silver tone, rose tone, black. Uh, options for you, V91655. Coming up a little bit later on. And then one of our favorites, here it is, Back the Apocalypse Trifecta on a leather strap with a clearance price now, red, blue, or green. So when that one is gone, it is gone for good. Interchangeable bezels. This is kind of an interesting piece. We'll talk about how that works when you get there. $20.83 your first out payment. So it is a good evening to share some Sterling Original Time pieces over the course of the next couple hours here. And joining us, Larry Megan. Always good to see Larry. Oh, excuse me for not shaking hands. I know, I'm just going to, usually yeah. I would. I don't want anybody to think, oh, they're, oh, they're fighting. No, they're, it's, no we, we. No, the. Larry has a little injury, so. Yeah, broken arm, but uh, oh. the show must go on here, yes. so we're not going to stop for anything. I like that. But, uh, it's great to be here, of course, working again with you, Sean, and uh, thanks for filling in without me this morning. Oh, that's fine. That's, that was no, great. You did a great job. I, I woke up, and I saw you, and I turned it right off. But anyway, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I watched the whole show, Sean, really. I really I got to be nice. The poor guy's I'm working with an jokes. injury. I know. But it's great to that be here. here. We're back in the saddle again. Yes, and uh, we are. Some of these clearance prices, well, my goodness gracious. Yeah, you know, you're going to see so, a lot of clearance pricing here, and so some real special opportunities for you. When these items are gone, they're not coming back. This is the Alpine. You probably have seen the Alpine before. It goes back a few years now, yeah. but probably not in this configuration with the colors that you're seeing and on the bracelet that this is on. Right. Your clearance price is $92.83. We're saving you about $20 off of our regular price. It, it, we have sold through about 90% of the quantity here, in fact, over that, really, because we've sold, it, getting close to 4,000 of these, got about 300 remaining, so that certainly tells the story there. There are four color options. I'm just going to walk you through these quickly here because there's some, the bezel is how you're ordering. Slow down. Can you back up just for a second here because I want to show everybody what the choices are because you're going to order based on the bezel, but the dials are going to be a little different as well. For instance, this with the red accents, that you're ordering based on black because of the black bezel, but it's going to have the red numerals, red hour hand, minute hand, and second hand. The next one over with the yellow touches that you're seeing on the dial, that you're ordering under blue because of the blue bezel. It has that like a propeller in there too, which is also going to be done in blue. The next one over is orange. If you like the orange, you're going to get and reverse what we just saw. There are some beautiful blue touches here. This is the most limited. I only have about two dozen remaining. The fourth choice, I want you to look at this, this green. Green in 2010 was the color in the world of watches. This is where most of our quantity mm -hmm. is. It's in the green. So that's good news. If you want the very on trend, very popular look, then you're going to go for the green execution. Larry, the Alpine has been one of Sterling's uh, big success stories. Well, without a doubt, it's a signature model for the brand. Without a doubt, it's our number one selling all time uh, skeleton timepiece from our Lifestyles collection. Of course, that goes back to the original Alpine, and this was the new Alpine Challenge that came out at the very beginning of 2010, yes. in February 2010. And there was a lot of revolutionary things for us with this. First of all, it was the first time we ever put an Alpine on anything other than a leather strap where we came out with this mesh bracelet. But you'll notice the solid end link integration, uh, which is done beautifully, magnificently. It looks like it really belongs to the case, as you can see. You'll even notice a quick change pin uh, underneath so if you do want to uh, anybody at home if you do have any of the alpine straps that are 23 millimeters wide you can easily you know change that out on this 
particular piece. You'll also notice on this case back shot that Sean is giving you here, this was our new rotor design in 2010 with that guillotine style of rotor, and you'll notice how it's matched to the color execution of each model here. Here you have the green edge uh, with the Sterling logo on there. Uh, to match the green execution. And going back to the front side for a moment, sure. uh, what, another new thing here, this was the very first piece that we used the Duracoach finishing on the bezel, which is a different than a PVD process. It's uh, a little more expensive process. It, it's a type of a process that's more uh, secure, it, to make it in simple terms. And you could tell the Duracoach finish, it has kind of a, a gloss to it, and it really is nice, and we've done that on some other timepieces now. But the Alpine Challenge was the first. Also, it still had that uh, you know, propeller-style faceplate that the Alpine is known for, the 12, 4, and 8. But in this case, we did it in two-tone. All the other Alpines were you know, tone-on-tone. -tone. So you can see the 12, 4, and 8 are in white on the green propeller-style faceplate. But here, above all, we're talking about a skeleton mechanical automatic timepiece, a piece that has no battery. Uh, it's running off of a mainspring the way that watches used to be done, you know, literally hundreds of years ago. And uh, that's really, you know, one of the things that Sterling Original has become known for is our skeletonized mechanical automatic timepieces. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's what I was talking about this yesterday morning, as a matter of fact, and how Sterling has come so far and been a leader almost in the, uh, the world of the watch category here at CHOP NBC with what they've done with their designs and the mechanical automatic movements that you have seen so many of. But for some of the very traditionalists, we have those looks, and you'll see some of those styles later on. But for those that are looking for something a little more modern and a little more fashion forward, then this is the one for you. I'll put this on my wrist after I measure it, actually, and while I'm getting set up to do that, I want to share one of the reviews with you. Because you can go to shopnbc.com and read all of the reviews that people put on the website for these watches. And this one in particular has been a big success story. And so let's just find out what one person had to say. Wow, the colors are bright and vibrant and love the look of the one I have, which is the blue-yellow one. The colors just go hand in hand with this skeleton watch. Thank you, Sterling. Timberwolf 3D from Port Townsend, Washington. Thank you for that review on shopnbc.com. You can read the others there as well. Your case diameter is 45. Your width is about 52, and in case thickness, actually about 17 millimeters. And that's to the highest point where you have the dome on the crystal. The bracelet is fascinating. It's a mesh style bracelet, but it has a buckle clasp on it, which I'm fighting with. There we go. Got it in place. It's got the steel grommets in the mesh bracelet, which is kind of nice. Uh, also, uh, you know, the, it's that same scallop edge to the case that it's become known for. The dome crystal, as you pointed mm -hmm. out, of course, is a signature, you know, for this piece. And for guys with smaller wrists, this is a great piece, and ladies as well, because it really does wrap the wrist with the curvature of the lugs. Yeah. Oh, it, it absolutely does. It's one that fits just seamlessly here. If you have a larger wrist, it works. Very generous bracelet on this, too. But if you have a smaller wrist like I do, it works just as wonderfully. In fact, you'll see this for the ladies' uh, edification as well in just a moment or two here. But the Alpine has been such a success story for Sterling. Now to be able to get one of the newer executions of it. For all of you that have enjoyed and loved it on the leather strap, wait until you see this on a mesh bracelet. It is absolutely fascinating to feel. And I didn't even notice till Larry pointed out the quick change pins on the back of that. So if you wanted to go ahead and put, what did you say the size was? I'm sorry. It's 23. Uh, it's an oddball okay. size. Yeah. It's a 23 millimeter. We actually did make some uh, Alpine straps that were 23 that were really nice. They had like a sandwich style, and we may have some still in the warehouse. Uh, if you ever wanted to call customer service, we, you know, you may be able to get some directly from us okay. uh, as a courtesy. Okay. But uh, it's a 23 millimeter wide lug fit. And Sean, I'm going to have to leave all the modeling to you tonight. <laughs> don't worry about it, Larry. That's okay. fine. You I know, I'm mind. always used to just reaching in there, Sean, and just grabbing don't worry. away. No, you know? I know. That's fine. But it's I got to so... hold myself back here a little bit. No, we, we want you to take care of yourself. Your health and well-being okay. is most important, so Larry. So don't worry we're going to do all the modeling. All right, nine one three five five. You've got happy to, honestly, happy to love these pieces. Love that. I, I have an Alpine. Well, you're not going to do all home. the modeling. We have Lexi for that, we too. Have, well, I was going to say, I think there's a few pieces, in fact, in particular, that Lexi will absolutely be, uh, be wearing. Okay. Not, uh, not yours truly. The Madison is coming up later on. This one is only $119.49. Again, clearance pricing and everything Ooh. I'm showing you this hour. First payment, $39.83 before 00232. Three value payments of $39.83. It's kind of interesting seeing the variety in this line because we're going to get into some very 
classic pieces, almost more conservative styles and looks a little bit later on. But we also have some of the very modern and the more contemporary pieces, and this is one of those. This is the Challenger chronograph. I have three <coughs> excuse me, choices for you, however, one much more limited than the others. So as we show you, and this is pretty straightforward, the black, the silver tone, and the rose tone, know that the rose tone is the most limited of the three. The only other real variable that you should note is going to be the uh, straps on these. You will have a black strap on the black piece. More of almost a, like a charcoal or a gray, uh, actually probably very close to the color mm -hmm. of my suit tonight, on the silver tone. Good call. And then the brown on the rose tone. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have three different leather straps right here. Uh, might as well go ahead and grab that. Wow. Wow, wait. what a match, huh? I just, that, that is odd. Almost, that is just dead odd. It's almost. like a real shark gray, I would say. That's would, perfect. Wouldn't you say? That's perfect. Absolutely. That is perfect. That's the description for this one. You know what? I'm going to have to drop this on the scale. Even though it's on a leather strap, this is a surprisingly heavy piece. You all have used a lot of uh, stainless steel in this case. Well, this is definitely one of our wow pieces yeah. of the year 2010. Launched a whole new series, our Challenger series. This uh, model was two years in development uh, for yeah. us, and uh, we've got more to come in 2011 with our Challenger series. But uh, this is it, and, and this is a great clearance opportunity right here. Uh, there's a lot to this piece. Uh, it's a 50 millimeter case, or maybe 49 and a half. I know you're going to put your your, well, let's your, find out. Your calipers on this. That's what I love about working with you, Sean. You bring all the tools. I want You're always to be well prepared. prepared. Uh, I'm very self-sufficient here. 48 millimeter is the case diameter. Now, you're, you're measuring the bezel, bezel. Right? Yeah, that, okay. that's, that's usually how I'm accustomed okay. to doing it, 10 to 4 measuring the Fair bezel. Enough. The width, if you wanted to include the crown, is 55 millimeters. Uh, uh, so, it's, you know, it's a substantial piece, no matter how you look okay. at it. Very good. Uh, one of the, I mean, there's a lot to talk about with this piece, but one of the keys for us is the bezel on this piece. It's what we call a debossed bezel, so it's got a channel, and that channel is filled with enamel. Mm -hmm. And then the enamel actually has a wave inlay in the enamel, and then it's polished flush. Take a look at that. I mean, it's really nice work in this bezel. And then, of course, those teeth that go over the enamel, it kind of gives it the effect of like a ship's wheel. Yes. If you over, you know, take an overall look of the piece. Mm -hmm. And then you look at all the dial work here, all the, the multiple components beautiful. on the dial. You see that little border template around the, you know, the minutes uh, mm -hmm. for your chronograph over at the 9 o'clock position. Right then you have a little extra piece over there at the 2 o'clock position. Okay, mm -hmm. this has got the Ronda StarTech 5030D, which gives you the 12-hour counter for the chronograph. You see your small seconds underneath those uh, skeletonized hour and minute hands and one of the fan blades is red so yeah. that's your seconds indication over there you've got the exposed date wheel and inside the arabic numeral three you see that little red pointer hand on the arabic three uh yes oh that, now i do that yes. point right where yeah exactly that is telling okay. you the date so yep. today is the fourth mm -hmm. okay uh but with the ronda star tech 5030d world-class quartz chronograph movement it's got add and split functionality, six jewels, all metal parts, completely repairable. Uh, again, world-class quartz chronograph movement here in this piece. Great dial work. And you see even the bezel work. Uh, you've got that serrated edge going all the way around the perimeter of the bezel, unidirectional ratcheting bezel. Then you've got those little screws uh, just, you know, for extra detail uh, every quarter hour. Yeah, you know, they are. a lot of the things that are here are not necessarily... Uh, don't necessarily have to be there, but it's kind of nice that they are. It's extra work, it's extra labor yeah. and manufacturing, but it's just a, another beautiful element and a great touch to the piece. I hope you heard Larry mention in passing there the movement, a Swiss-based Ronda movement on this one, uh, an actual Swiss-made Ronda movement inside of this watch. So if you're a stickler for quality, accuracy, and dependability, certainly a quartz movement is going to be the way you want to go. We love our automatics, we love our mechanicals, but as far as day-to-day -day accuracy, then a quartz movement is probably going to be the way that you're going to want to go. Let me slip this one on my wrist quickly here. So I want to see this on your wrist, I'm Sean. kind of anxious to see this on myself. I love how the brace, the, excuse me, the strap is integrated mm -hmm. into the case here. And if I get a chance, I know I only got a minute here. I want to talk more about that. Because That's an excellent point. The, um, the fit is perfect. 
on this watch. And part of that is because of the way that leather yeah. strap is integrated into the case. It has what's called steel platforms, Sean. They're inserts. They're metal inserts that are actually sewn into the strap. Yeah. So it gives you the feeling of a solid end link integration. It's properly made. It's not so much the cost of those inserts. Uh, the cost of the inserts That's actually right. come down to just pennies. It's not, it's not expensive. But what costs you is it costs you a couple grand just to set it up to make the darn things. No kidding. Yes. Yes, oh, it does. That. Uh, you know, so it's properly made. It's not just set with a pin, okay? It's got this, you could feel the, oh, yeah. you could feel the, the uh, firmness there. It's got steel platform integration uh, at the uh, case integration of the strap there. It's properly made. Yep. V91503, five value payments. First one, $38, 11 cents on a Swiss made movement. I did throw this on the scale. It was over 150 grams in weight, which is very significant for a watch on a genuine leather strap that really does indicate how much stainless steel and just the raw material. Rose gold is probably the dressiest of the bunch. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That would be. And that is the most limited. Thank you for reminding me, actually. The rose is the most limited of the three. The black and the silver tone are the other options. 100 meters water resistant for what it's worth. 91503. And I guess we've moved on. It's time to take a look at the World Traveler coming up later on in the show. Another one of my picks in this hour. I've got a couple that I'm just extra excited about. This is one of them. $81.53 for that world traveler. We'll get to that later on in our opening hour here. Actually, now we're going to start getting into some of the pieces that um, <coughs> make Sterling famous, I guess you would say, at least in our watch category here at Chop NBC, because they do some things that yeah. honestly none of our other companies have done. Nobody else that I have seen has presented a watch designed like this, first of all. And this is an homage mm -hmm. to the very first wristwatches, back before they really were marketing and making what we would classify as wristwatches, when originally someone would take a pocket watch and strap it to their wrist. Well, this is kind of an homage to that. I actually gifted one of these to a friend of mine, actually, mm -hmm. uh, about six months or so ago. And he wears it all the time. I was looking at some pictures from his uh, New Year's Eve celebration on his Facebook page. I was here. I wasn't there. And we were presenting some great things on New Year's Eve. And lo and behold, even at a party, he had on this, what is really a more conservative, dressier timepiece. Mm -hmm. So $149.07 is your clearance price. Your first payment, $37.27. There's a gold tone black and a rose tone black. The black that we're talking about is that ring of mother of pearl that you're seeing on this watch. Yes, Sean, this is, um, certainly has become a signature piece for our brand. It's our emperor. Uh, we came out with it approximately five years ago, and um, it's one of our all-time uh, best-selling timepieces now. We've got nine different executions of the piece. These two here are two of the more stunning with the uh, rose tone black and the gold tone black. But, you know, I just was thinking about something as we're watching it here. I have... One particular lady customer who emails me all the time saying, when is the Emperor going to be on? I, I never see it. I always miss it. I mean, we air it all the time. You Seems know? like we do. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it hasn't been on, I guess, in a little while. And I guess she keeps, I hope she, Judy, if you're out there, I hope you're, I hope you're watching yeah. right now because this is it. This is yeah. the Emperor. Uh, you know, this is the original and this is the one that she's been asking for. A lot of times they get confused with the new Grandeur and, and the new Emperor 1889, but this is the original Emperor right here. It's a 41 millimeter case design, 41. It's 13 millimeters thick. It's as elegant and dressy as you're going to find. It is a dual time zone timepiece, as you can see right here. Very easy to offset these into two different time zones. Uh, you've got a beautiful open heart execution here at the 9 o'clock position with that vertical bridge with the six blue screws. Of course, an open heart in watchmaking, if you're new to watchmaking, what that means is there's a cutout in the dial which will reveal the balance wheel. And that's the wheel that you see bouncing back and forth at uh, 21,600 vibrations per hour, which comes down to six beats per second. But also, as Sean pointed out, the chapter ring with the hour markers is laid flush in mother of pearl. And that's one of the more difficult things in, in making this timepiece is putting in that, that reverse C, that chapter ring, because it has to lay flush. And we actually break a lot of them in the manufacturing mm -hmm. process uh, to do that. It's very difficult to do. Those hour markers that you see there, the Roman numerals, those are individually applied you know, to the mother of pearl as well. Uh, of course, and as Sean pointed out, the appeal of the overall uh, 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 emperor, of the overall appeal, is the fact that in the old days they used to strap pocket watches to the wrist. And in those days they didn't have the crown at the 3 o'clock position. They were always up at 12 and they would, you know, this is a way that they used to strap them to the wrist before they figured out 
that the crown was in the way and they could move it over to the three o'clock position. Yeah, true. So it is an homage to the, to the old days and ladies love wearing this piece. I wear this piece whenever I get dressed up uh, all the time to go to the you know, dressiest of sure. affairs. And I still have the same one that I got five years ago okay. um, and I still wear it. it. Even though it's 41 millimeters, it wears more like a 50. And the reason for that is because when you add on the crown and the bow at the top of the watch, it adds like 10 millimeters to the case. I mean, here, look, it's a 41 millimeter case. If you just keep your focus on the case, yes, but then you've got this big crown and bow up at the top of it. Yeah. So it really wears much larger than a 41, oh, it and it's really an elegant size. Uh, I wear it all the time. It's fabulous. Now, the rose tone, that is layered with 16 karat rose gold, and the yellow gold is layered with 23 karat yellow gold. Uh, and this is a true mechanical automatic, so... You know, in other words, there's no battery in this watch, no. once again, well, if you're new to watchmaking. And, and there's an excellent point, because you have to realize the difficulty in manufacturing these watch movements just for your standard, okay, it tells the time. But now, you have operating off of that movement, and it does have an exhibition case back, so I can show this to you, not just that one time indicator, but two. You have, and there's the movement right there. There you can see, and you can see mm -hmm. some of the beautiful furnace blue style touches on the uh, on some of the screws that are inside of there. There's your rotor, also done in the corresponding rose gold layering. In this case, the beautiful rose gold piece. But again, all of those mechanics, all those wheels, all those gears in there, they're serving to power and to function one, two separate movements there, or two separate time indicators. You know, Sean, I know your taste pretty well by now after all these years. To me, this is a piece that I would guess that you own, but if you don't, I would guess well, that you would like to own. It's so funny you say that we, you must be picking up my ESP or something because as we were presenting this and you were talking, I was thinking, because I mentioned I got one of these for a friend of mine, and I was thinking, I should have picked one of these up for myself too because I was just kind of taking this in and looking at this. And so indeed, it is one of those it's I a, regret not having picked up for myself. We may be remedying that tonight because this is, this is what I've been a big fan of for a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's totally you all oh, over. Yeah. You like the dressy, elegant stuff. Absolutely. I, I know you do. And this is one of those that just epitomizes all this of that. This is a type of piece that maybe you might only wear once a year. Uh, Could be. You know, or you give it as a gift to somebody very special that means a lot to you. You know, I mean, and ladies love wearing it, too. Here it is on oh, Lexi. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, good point. There Here it is on Lexi. But, uh, again, this is the kind of piece that you give to your dad or you give to your son or, you know, it's an occasion piece. And even if you're a guy who doesn't get dressed up a lot, you know, everybody has to get dressed up once in a while. I mean, mm -hmm. you go to a wedding or something or New Year's Eve or whatever it happens to be, and this is a piece you dress up for. It's not an everyday piece. And, oh, I'm, thank you, Mike. I, I totally forgot my producer's reminding me we have a review to read on this one, and so we'll go ahead and pop that on your screen. Yeah, I, with the clearance pricing, it's now or never. I may have to uh, add this to my collection. I've always been a fan. Timeless classic. After opening the watch box, I found a beautifully crafted timepiece. The black mother of pearl accented the watch dial beautifully, and the rose gold adds character and elegance to the timepiece. LE85695 from Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you for that five-star review on ShopNBC.com. But it's the perfect case size. It's... For me, I think one of those pieces that I would uh, highly encourage anybody who just loves the classics, and really if you're a watch collector, I think most of us have an appreciation for the art of watchmaking. This epitomizes not just that, but also the very historical aspect of watchmaking and an homage to the original way of getting a wristwatch, which was take a pocket watch and strap it to your wrist. So it's kind of an interesting piece just from a lot of different angles. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Rose gold, yellow gold, two fine choices. Gold tone black or rose tone black is actually how they're set up in the system there. Priced at $149.07 and core value pays at $37.27. Don't miss nice that one, one, guys. That, that, that is a phenomenal one. Well, we also have some of the sportier looks for you. The Heracles is coming up later at $229.15. That is a heavy watch. Wait till you see that one. It's definitely one for the collectors out there. Forty-five eighty-three. Your first value payment be nine one six seven three is your item number. Actually, this is a great. The next piece you're going to see as well. Another great example of how sterling can go from a very classic piece, uh, a styled after something that goes back what 80, 90 years, now up to much more modern times, more contemporary times as far as the case design and styling of the piece goes. But then, again, mechanical automatic movement and down in the six o'clock position there, an open heart, a very tourbillon-esque look mm -hmm. to the way that that is designed. I like that designed. word. 
Thank you very much. Toy you may that. Yes. Never heard that one before. That's that. good. The 91189 is priced at 177.18. <laughs> Uh-oh. First payment, $35.44. You're going to be okay? Oh, yeah. Need some water or anything? You know, I would love a glass of water, we get, Sean. Can we get Larry some water, please, Maggie? We'll get you got, someone you, right You have some that. pull around yes, here, man. I certainly. You want what? You want a steak? <laughs> I can do that. We'll we, see how far we, they put up with you me. Cut it, will you got, cut it up for me? Absolutely. We'll All mash right. it up for you. All right. Uh, 177.18. First payment, $35.44. I think I've mentioned that a few times now. But honestly, another interesting piece, because you're taking that same idea of a mechanical automatic right. movement, but adding in a couple retrograde complications here. Right. Well, this particular movement uh, is pretty spectacular. It's a 33-joule movement here. It's got, a, as you point out, two retrogrades. You have a retrograde day of the week and a retrograde date. And what that means is you've got a pointer day hand over there on the right-hand side of the dial. There, Sean's pointing to it now. It's pointing to Tuesday. Now, once that reaches all the way up to, you know, Wednesday, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then it's going to snap back to Monday as opposed to continuing around. So that's a sure. retrograde. And the same thing with the date hand on the other side. And these watches were set, and one of the crew did a great job yes. on that, thank you. But once it reaches up to 31, it's gonna snap back to one. Now you say, well, what's the big deal? You know, well, the big deal is, this is not a computer chip, guys. There's no battery in this watch. It's being done just off of real mechanics. It's being done with just metal parts and gears. Uh, it's absolutely ingenious operating off of a single spring. And then, for good measure, you've got this open heart at the bottom, meaning that you can see the balance wheel beating in the background, but in front of the balance wheel, you see this kind of rotating cage, and it's actually synced to the second complication, and so that gives you what Sean referred to as a tourbillon-esque, I call it a faux tourbillon, but a tourbillon-esque look, meaning mm -hmm. Uh, you're seeing something rotating there as opposed to just the, the beating of the balance wheel. It's not a tourbillon, but no. it gives that effect. And then usually when you see these kind of complications, you're going to see them in some kind of a very elegant dress piece like our Saturnalia, which has this exact same movement, which is a boardroom style piece, a very dressy piece. What we did here is in, this is called our spirit, okay? It's the, which is short for spirit of the apocalypse. We put this in our apocalypse case and so you've got a dressy complication in a sport-looking case design. So it's a spirit piece, and uh, you know it's kind of a, you know it's kind of a, a hybrid in, yeah. a, in, a, in a sense. You know, so you can wear it sporty or dressy, and uh, here it is in the rose gold makes it very dressy. Oh, absolutely, it does. And to add to that, I'm just going to turn this a little bit so you can see the strap. It's got a wonderful leather strap. You can see the sheen and the gloss coming off of your genuine leather strap. If I continue around, you are also going to see a dual deployment clasp right there. That helps extend the life of your leather straps, too, since you're not going to have that wear that you would usually get when a buckle is making contact with a strap. Also, the rotor, decorated, beautiful. Okay, I know we got to go 177.18, and actually, we're down to the final 18 of that watch remaining. So that is on its way to being sold out, B91189. Grab that your, if you can. Your, I, I agree completely. That is such a great one. This is already selling later on in the hour. We're going to give you a full presentation. Oh, my in goodness. Fact, one of the final items, actually, in this hour, the interchangeable bezels. That is the 91400. $104.16 is your clearance price. $20.83 your first value payment. Well, as we move forward with the Sterling line, you know, if, Again, such a prolific brand, such a prolific line. Yes, they do the conservative and the great uh, classic sort of looks that we've been looking at here, but now something that is so aptly named, the Gen X. Mm -hmm. This has a much more modern sort of feel to it. I have three color choices here. Mm -hmm. You're only seeing two right there. There is a third option here that I haven't, and it's the very obvious one right here, but we'll start on the left side of your screen and kind of work across because you're buying based on the case of the piece, but the dials are going to vary as well. So if you're buying silver tone, which is the one that you're going to see on the left right here, there you can see the dial and it's done in kind of a, well, silver tone and black basically kind of combination there. The next one over is your rose tone piece. The rose tone has the beautiful uh, brown sort of finish uh, to the, uh, the sub-dials there, or the brown, uh, the rose tone, excuse me, the rose gold layered uh, rings that you see around your complications. But then the third, you're ordering black, but oh my word, look at that red dial. Mm -hmm. You're like me and you love the color red. This is definitely going to be the one you want to get. 
uh, black and red very, very much. A, uh, but, you know, again, we had a watch a few minutes ago, which was uh, appropriate for the opera or uh, hearing the orchestra. This is now Friday night, out with your buds, just throwing back a few beers. Yeah, this is really cool. Now, this is our Gen X, came out two years ago, and... Uh, uh, originally, wow. we had an execution that had a red tinted crystal, which we don't have any more of those, at oh, least I not. Remember uh, that. Yeah, well, and then last year we came out with the red dial uh, instead of the red crystal. So we don't have any more right now on the red tinted crystal. Not sure if we're going to see any more of those uh, for a while. But instead, we do have this red dial now, which they're calling black. But here's the whole key with the Gen X the Gen X is. Um, really about the movement and the design and the three-dimensionality here. This is a 45-millimeter case design. It's got the, you know, properly integrated rubber strap. It integrates perfectly to the case. It's properly made here. But this is that Citizen Miyota. I believe it's called the JR00. Does it give you the... It is? Okay. The JR00 movement here, which gives you... You see your 24-hour indicator there at the 9 o'clock mm -hmm. position. But here, here we go now. You have the retrograde day of the week down here in the lower right quadrant here. Right, but it's not done just with just a simple, you know, hand pointing to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's got that hand uh, that uh, if you there. find that sweet spot, Sean, you'd be able to, you know, quick set the day. You won't have to spin around. No, I'm just I'm getting the hands out of the way. So you can see oh, I knew that. Early, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm but... Doing. If you find that sweet spot in that little two, two hole there somewhere, okay, that's true. Yeah, you, you'll be able to actually go through the days. But you'll notice we, what we did is we built a bridge. And then there it, there it is. And in the bridge is an acrylic plate that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, and it'll snap back to oh, Monday. Yeah. But then the hand goes underneath the bridge and above the dial, okay? And there's a base dial. There's another metal plate cutting across the center of the dial. Then you've got those components up at the top with those extra rings. You have a pointer date hand up at the 12 o'clock position mm -hmm. that goes all the way around to point to the date. But now, as Sean is going to give you that three-dimensional look by rotating the watch, look at the depth, the three-dimensionality. Those hour, minutes, and second hands have to clear all of that. It has yeah. to clear the bridge. It has to clear those components. Uh, not an easy thing in watchmaking to do to have a center cannon pinion that tall. Yeah. And that is really the calling card of the Gen X. And we've done the Gen X Sport, the Gen X Pro. Uh, we've done a few other things. We got a, so a couple more things coming in the Gen X series, guys. But uh, this is the one that started it all. And then we went to the 49 millimeter size. But this is the original 45 millimeter size. Here's two of the original executions right here: the silver tone and the and the rose tone. And now Sean is showing you the new oh, black like with this. the red dial. The rubber strap on this is phenomenal. And yes, and, and the oh. 45, it's got stitching. It's got, yes. it's got actual yes. stitches in the rubber strap. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. This is really a phenomenal piece. Larry touched on it. You can see how that's integrated, too, into the case. It is just properly integrated right there, just a seamless execution of the case and that rubber strap together. And, of course, that ties in beautifully. They're all black rubber straps that you're picking up but with that texturing or excuse me not the texturing with the stitching that's running through that very interesting little touch but look at that on now would i wear this with a suit probably not but it is that perfect casual watch so now you're taking your dressier pieces wearing them with a suit then you have this for put the this one on with that suit and tell me you wouldn't wear it with the suit i'm okay. not saying it's a suit piece but well, it could be let's see let's see i'm, I'm uh... i mean okay yeah if it's black and red you know maybe not but you know let's see what this one looks like it's closer. It is closer. Um, yeah, that's a possibility. That that's is absolutely a possibility that you could get away with dressing but, this one up. But a the dial bit, work so. here, the dial work is that the key on this. Amazing on there, this. There's so much hand work that's done in this dial, guys, uh, and this is a great clearance opportunity wow, here. Wow, is that nice? V nine one six five five is your the stunning pendant is sold out the last two times we've aired it. Crafted from poly sterling silver, this pendant gleams with an oval color mystic topaz in a bezel setting. It's the only oval mystic topaz pendant in the current design studio silver from Bali collection, so don't miss it. Tune in for design studio silver from Bali, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, right here on Shop and Base A. And now back to sterling original watches. 
And uh, we do indeed continue with our uh, Madison next on your screen, another uh, one of the phenomenal Sterling oh. pieces that has that just uh, almost an homage to more classic looks. The case is, <laughs> I was going to say 90% of the reason why you might be purchasing this, maybe that's a stretch a little bit, but it is absolutely in a phenomenal case. If you're looking at this, though, there's something a little different about this watch than the last time you saw it, and that's the price. This is the first time this watch has ever been presented at $119.49, so you are the first to see this new price point. There are three choices based on the dial. Black dial, silver tone dial, or blue dial. This is a tough choice, so we'll show them all and ask you to make your decision on your own here. We have fairly equal quantities on each one, so any could be the first to go. That was the black dial. Here's the silver tone dial. I love the blue touches that you get with the silver tone dial, so that might be something to consider. Or, if you love the blue dial, there you're going to have those silver tone touches on this blue dial here. Yes, sir? You see the day of the week in there? Yes. It's in between. It's right in between Tuesday... Uh, yeah or Monday, Tuesday, or yes. Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know what it was. When, well, when you get it, day when yeah, that between yeah. midnight and four with these day-date movements, uh, it's going to go between, you know, the date, and then the, the date will go, then the day goes. So yeah. usually by between two and four in the morning is when they're going to flip over, and that's what you were seeing right there. Well, and that's but why this time say, of day you don't want to make that adjustment. Let the watch do it on its own. Now, I've just advanced the hands here yeah. an hour or a couple hours here, and you can see that now it's fixed itself. Right. And, you know, this is a really a great clearance opportunity here because this is really one of our really nice dress pieces here, the Madison. Many of you remember our original Madison Avenue. You say, well, it looks just like the Madison Avenue. Yes, it does. We didn't change a thing except one thing. We went larger. Yes, you did. Yeah, the yes, original Ma uh, Madison Avenue, same case design, same dial design, same quick set day, quick set date movement, very, very popular. Uh, piece from our uh, boardroom collection, but now we went a little bit larger, and we only came out with this literally in the last 30 days, and now all of a sudden, clearance price. Clearance. So, fantastic opportunity to get a mechanical automatic with a quick set day and quick set date movement in it, no battery, in a dress piece, and this has got classic vintage Sterling Original dial work here. It's done with, you know, vintage German machines with hydraulic guilloche. You can see the swirled sunray pattern uh, on the dial here. Each one of these dials has been struck more than 30 times. All of those uh, Arabic numeral hour markers that are fanned around the dial have all been individually hand applied you know to this dial here uh, of course as Sean pointed out correctly the case design oh, is what amazing. this one is yeah. all about it's a beautifully well proportioned to no shape case that has just gorgeous lugs for the shoulders. Now here, the blue dial might be a little bit loud for you, but if you want the classiest, dressiest, in my opinion, I go with this silver tone here with, with the silver tone with the yeah. blue hands and the black strap. Yeah. And uh, I know we're almost out of time. Yeah, here, we gotta run here, but uh, did, I agree with Larry Did we show completely. the case back at all? Yeah. Uh, no, you did not. Just Absolutely. wanna let you see that it is a quick. true mechanical Special automatic. Case. Thank you, Sean. That's why I'm here. Push button deploying clasp on this as yep. well. Before 00232, three payments, $39. That's all, $39.83 is going to get that one <laughs> home. Boy, that, that is a phenomenal piece at a great price point. Before 00232, if you just tuned in. Where you been? We've been here. We have another hour and 40 minutes. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Hour and 20 minutes. That's right. To uh, come to Sterling, we started this hour with our Alpine. It is still selling. We have all three of the colored, I beg your pardon, all four of the colored traces there. Order based on the bezel color. $92.83 is going to get that one home. Actually, as we continue through this Sterling assortment, uh, one, I don't have a host pick designated in the Sterling show. If I did, this could probably be it. I have always been a fan of the World Traveler. And look now at this clearance price of $81.53. Wow. Then we have three value payments of $27.18. So uh, the opportunity is certainly here. We have two executions of this watch. And again, this is a tough choice. You're going to have to decide on your own here. Because the first one you're going to see is the rose tone. And just look at how crisp that rose tone is. That is just beautiful. But then we get into the black piece. Now... Darned if this one isn't equally attractive, and it's got some rose touches to it. Mm -hmm. So 
that ties through kind of the same common theme here on each one of these. But what is so interesting about this, and I've shown, and I've been doing this 19 years now, and I've shown 50,000 world timer style watches before, or so it seems anyways, I've never seen one laid out like this, and I love the way this is done. Yeah, it's a very unusual layout, Sean. Uh, you've got on the left-hand side, you've got minute markers uh, on the inner track there. You see that? You've got the, mm -hmm. the 40 and the 45 yeah. and the 50. But yet, if you go to the right-hand side, you've got Roman numeral hour markers on the outside, you know, for the hours. You Get see that? There. Getting there. A little it, more. It is over there. But a little more. Anyway. <laughs> they're coming in. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Wrong way, guys. But, no, the, it's okay. The, the point is, okay, this is well, a world I'll do it time. myself then. Over here, the Roman but, numeral but power actually, markers. Yeah, there yes, it is. You can there. see it even easier probably on the other one. But you see, on, so on the outside, you've got your Roman numeral hour markers yeah. or, you know, the this, this stick markers. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, you have the minute markers, which is very unusual. But the bottom line here is it's a world timer, which tells, which you can tell the time literally in 24 major time zones all around the world. And they're all done with the accepted cities for those time zones. Yes. Like New York, of course, would represent the Eastern time zone, Los Angeles, of course, for the Pacific and so forth. And you can see London and Paris and Hong Kong. And mm -hmm. you could tell time literally all around the world in a single glance. And unlike many world timers, you might have to rotate a flange or a bezel to line it up with this one. Once you, with this particular movement from Rhonda, once you set the watch one time when you get it out of the box, you right. set it properly, that's it, you're done. You never have to set it again. Yeah. Let me show you, what I'm going to do, <coughs> just kind of simplify it, um, because always, if you can, do it right at the top of an hour. It's going to be easier to line things up. So let's just, for simplicity's sake, call it 3 a.m. Now, if it's 3 a.m. in the central time zone, uh, the one that I can make quick reference to is London, where it's six hours ahead. So let me find London on here. Where There it is, right up there. So I'm going to set London to 9 a.m. Okay, so we have the 9 under London, the 10 under Paris, 11 under Jeruz Jerusalem, excuse me. So now that all of those are lined up, as my time moves forward, you can see the that our moves, wheel right. corresponds now. So once it hits 4 o'clock central, it is 10 a.m. in London, 11 a.m. in Paris, and so forth and so on. Well, the, the, you did it perfectly, Sean. The only thing I would say is you don't have to know the time in London to set it at home, folks. You can actually use your own time zone to set it. But Sean was kind of showing off a little bit there. <laughs> Why did that not dawn on me until you just said that? I mean, like, you could have picked Chicago, which is Minneapolis, and set them both to the same, and then it works. But, but Sean was showing off that he knows that London is so many hours ahead because he's showing off. I'm the but same it's, person. Uh, never it, mind. That's okay. But he is a world traveler, you know. But the point is this. <laughs> no, I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, once you set it one time, it's very easy to track time all around the world. And the nice thing about this series for us, it's become a signature piece for us, the original Traveler. Then we did the Time Traveler, which was the same case design and the same dial design, only we went to a 44. This is the newest version, the World Traveler, with a new dial design, and we went two millimeters larger. So this is the 46 millimeter case design. And um, with a minute to go, Sean, I know I'm not going to model. You go ahead and model, but oh, I wanted okay. you to show the case back on the rose tone oh, one sure. just because it's that. a little more. Yeah. Ah, okay. Larry, <laughs> Sorry, you just guys. sit there, okay? <laughs> okay. Don't move a okay. muscle, it's, literally. Okay. <laughs> now, we're my, just my, gonna, my wrist. I guys. know. That's, we don't need you getting into more trouble. <laughs> Take a look at this. There is the case back on this particular <laughs> timepiece. Oh. <laughs> I, I just, uh, and you can see the, the world traveler detail there. That's but you see cool. the screws going around the outer perimeter and the old-fashioned biplane there. <sighs> anyway. Don't make me make you go sit in the corner and just, okay. you know, be a good boy here. So. No, but it's Behave. cool. It's cool. Uh, $81.53. That is a very special Great, great purchase getting. opportunity right there. Great gift item, too, because a lot of oh, people yeah. like to give world timers as gift items, especially if you know someone who likes to travel a lot. Mm -hmm. that, boy, that's a good one. I love that one. Great opportunity. 91337, and you are going to love that one as well. And here's a great way to check out our website. And a lot of new, I was just looking at this earlier, we have all this whole list of items that are brand new to the inventory. There's some sterlings that are going to come up there. We have some new computers new uh, fashions, 
settings, all kinds of new and exciting things on the website, some new jewelry pieces as well. ShopMC.com, you can check all of that out. There's fitness gear, there's it's like outdoor furniture. Who doesn't want outdoor furniture when it's one degree out? Uh, we are going to get underway, though, with more Sterling Original Tying Pieces here. And then coming up at 5 o'clock Eastern Time, Carmel is going to join me for an hour of jewelry. We have the Heracles to share with you right now. This is another big, bold, dramatic piece. $229.15 is your price. We have five value payments in place. $45.83 can get this home. Two choices this time. On the left of your screen is the black and yellow. On the right side of your screen, the gray and red. Fairly straightforward. But I want to start just by simply talking weight and size. Mm -hmm. This is, well, first of all, okay, let me just get the numbers out here first. The weight on the watch, listen to this. 281.4 grams. It is the heaviest watch that I'm going to show you tonight. The case size. The case diameter, 51. Your width comes in at a full 58. Case thickness, almost 15. Lug to lug, this is 55 and a half millimeters long. This is one of those times where, and, and I'm going to put this on, but I'm going to be fairly blunt with my feelings, I think it's probably a little bit large for someone with a wrist size. Like, Larry, you're nodding. You agree it's probably for a guy who wears a... Has oh, a yeah. Wrist. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a large piece. What did you say, 51? Or 50? Uh, yeah, yeah, 51. 51 millimeter case design. Uh, I was thinking 52, but I, I trust your measurement there, Sean. Also, you have these large pushers and crown sticking out, so it would play even bigger than 51. Yeah. So, you know, it's a large presence on a wrist. I know a lot of guys like the large pieces. Absolutely. I myself, you know, I wear a size 8. I can, I can handle this. And I, I, now, I will say this. Yes, it definitely is a large presence on the wrist, but for such a large piece, it's actually fairly low profile, uh, believe it or not. You know, that is a good point. I mean, actually. a lot of yeah. times you get into 51s, 52s, 53s, and we make a few of them. Uh, they're much thicker pieces than yep. this. Uh, this actually lays point. fairly low to the wrist. It hugs the wrist pretty well. So, mm -hmm. uh, did you measure the thickness? Did I hear it? Or I did it. I said it, and I've forgotten already what yeah, the number was. Yeah, I'm going to say it's probably about 14 or something like that. I don't think it's too big. No. But uh, uh, anyway, this has the Ronda StarTech 5040 in it, the 5040D. So, you know, you do have the tenth of a second indication. Mm -hmm. Once again, world-class quartz chronograph movement. Uh, all metal parts, six jewels, add and split functionality, tenth of a second, and a 10 hour counter as well. So you got a great movement in this piece as well. And then it's all about the design. Uh, you know, you take a look at the design elements in this piece uh, the case design, kind of with those butterfly lugs out there. The, the bracelet is very, very comfortable. It's kind of like a jewelry bracelet. You've got a beautiful satin finish going down the center links. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous, and then you've got the high polish going down the edge links, uh, the outer on the outer edge. Uh, just a stunning bracelet, uh, bracelet that you're going to like a lot. It's very comfortable, and it's like I said, it's like a jewelry bracelet on this piece. You got the nice sterling button logo up there on the end link, uh, mm -hmm. coming up to the at the case integration right there, and then uh, you know, like I said, the dial design on this one. Well, it, the dial is interesting because of, well, because of a lot of different features. I'm kind of intrigued by the, almost like a stadium layout, the way that the numerals and the hour markers are placed, because they actually slope. They're at an angle. Yeah. And they extend outward from that ring that you see. Mm -hmm. So that is over top of the actual dial, yeah. and that's all extending outward and downward at the same time. Right, and you notice that kind of pinwheel effect on the uh, small seconds indication over at the 3 o'clock position as well, the pinwheel design. And then also, Sean, just, you know, I would do it, but it hurts my wrist, but just give the unidirectional ratcheting bezel a twist there. It's very Sorry. smooth. You wow, notice how, nice. isn't that nice? Very nice. You know, sometimes they're not as smooth as others. This one has a oh, really nice, smooth yeah. uh, directional, you know, directional yeah. bezel on this one as well. You're really going to like that. That's quality. That, that absolutely is quality. That is so well constructed here. But again, for those that do like a larger watch, you don't care for, in fact, let me measure it again. I have forgotten the number. You don't care for Well, I said 14. Watch. What did you come up with? Uh, 15. So, 15. Yeah, right, right there. 15 so, millimeters on the thickness. Okay. Yeah, so it is not that huge. You know, I had a watch the other day, 20 millimeters in thickness. And when you get into larger in diameter watches, many times it's going to equate to a very thick piece. Some guys just aren't going to be comfortable wearing a 20 millimeter thick watch, especially this time of year when you've got long sleeves on. 
put a sweater down over that, and you've got this huge uh, watch underneath the, uh, the sleeve of your sweater. This is not going to be like that, but a lot of stainless steel. When I weighed this, over 200 grams in weight. So yes, it is one that you are going to feel on the wrist. Two very nice color. Stop it. You're going to hurt yourself again. No, I just wanted to see because it's yellow and I got a yellow shirt. Look. Okay. I know. I, I'm distancing myself from any further injuries that Larry uh, encounters while on the air here at Shop NBC. No, but that other one was different. I was trying to do something I shouldn't have been, but this was easy to just pick it up and grab it. Okay. V91637. No, but you see, that, I mean, it's a great everyday sport watch. I mean, you guys like to wear sport watches and a yeah. beautiful bracelet? Yes, that there is a go. good one. That's all. No problem. Okay, Larry, V91637 is your item number. Continue to call in on your Sterling Original. Uh, uh, I was going to say Hera. Well, that was the Heracles. Yes, excuse me. We're getting to our next piece now, the Apocalypse Trifecta. Now, this is an interesting little presentation. I'm going to want your attention here if you've not seen this before, because actually I haven't presented this in a long time. So it's kind of an interesting item from the aspect of what you're actually going to get. Now, you're going to make an initial selection of red, blue, or green. Follow along here, because this is going to take a moment or two to go through and explain everything that you're going to get. Because you will get the watch with either the red, the blue, or the green. Now, there's the blue watch once more. You will see that you get the blue bezel, mm -hmm. but you are also going to get two additional bezels. So you can swap out and put a different bezel on the watch if you would like. So if the blue is just, I don't know, too much blue for whatever reason, how about that beautiful carbon fiber bezel then? Yep. How about the stainless bezel with those... Uh, like black screws in it then. Mm. All of this is going to come in a great presentation. I'll show you actually with the, um, the green version here. Again, you're choosing red, blue, or green. The blue will have a silver tone dial. The red will have a black dial. So there's going to be a little bit of a contrast between those two. If, however, you're ordering green, and like I said, 2010 has been the year of the green dial watches, you're going to get the green bezel and you will get a green dial. Here's how whichever watch you get is going to come to you. The watch will be laid out in your Sterling Original box, which by the way, you'll always have your warranty information and your instruction booklet in here, so make sure that when you open the box up, you, if you're going to discard it, and frankly I would keep it because this is a great way to store these, that you check out your warranty information and your instruction booklet right there. But anyway, there's the watch itself. So you will have the green bezel, green dial, then your stainless bezel with the black screws, and your carbon fiber bezel. So then you can start swapping out your bezels and changing the look of your watch. Very well, very well done, Sean. You know, this is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic price. This is a fantastic opportunity. Uh, anybody out there that knows the trifecta, you want to be on the phone and getting as many of these as you can possibly afford because, uh, first of all, I, I mean, I, I gotta just, I'm just shaking my head at the price. This is our Apocalypse Trifecta. It's in the 45 millimeter case design. Mm -hmm. This case uh, design, this case size was created for this model. We've started to do a couple of other pieces now in this 45 millimeter case. But this was the first one we did in the 45. We had a 42, which we did for a long time, the first three or four Apocalypse. Then we went to the 49. Now, Sean has just popped off the blue. So no matter which one you order, whether you order the, the, the how do they do it, the blue, green, or black, Yep. okay, you're going to get an additional carbon fiber bezel, which Sean is going to put on right now, or you're going to get the stainless steel bezel with the black screws. Mm -hmm. And it changes the personality. It changes the look totally. completely, okay? Now, if you like the blue one, this is the blue that Sean is showing yep. you. Okay. Took the blue bezel off. You took the blue bezel off. The blue bezel has the silver tone dial. I knew that this was the blue one because that's the one that I oh, own. Good point. Okay. Is the silver tone dial. Yes. If you wear blue jeans and everything, the blue one's a good way to go. The most popular seller was the, the red because of the black case. Oh, certainly. The red is the only one that has the black PVD case. So if you like that black case, then you want to get the red bezel and the red bezel, then you can put the black carbon fiber on it as well. But as far as that, enough about talking about the interchangeability and the color combinations that's all fun stuff but as far as the watch itself goes you have a swiss isa um, 8171 movement in this which is the day date chronograph so you have a swiss isa you know day date chronograph movement in this timepiece okay here we go now sean is now giving you the look with the stainless steel bezel with the black screws okay and you could just leave it on one bezel if you want to yeah. 
you know, but you can change the looks just in a matter of seconds by a, a little half twist and uh, mm -hmm. it pops on and off. But um, 40, our most popular sport model case design right here, our Apocalypse case with the diagonal bezel, 10-sided bezel design. You got case extensions. And by the way, the trifecta was the first Apocalypse of our series, and we have like 16 or 17 different Apocalypses now, was the first one that came on a leather strap. Prior to that, they were all either rubber or bracelets. And then we did the oh. trifecta on the, on the leather strap, and it was very, very popular. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Here, I just I went back to the blue bezel as well. You can do this anytime you want. Great for those uh, who, I don't know, especially with the green, with uh, that all green. The green is a great color, and I know that, uh, you know, again, this price <clears throat> is uh, just fantastic right yeah. here. Uh, I should probably put this one on here. I haven't been holding this. I'm going to put the, this on my wrist now just so you can get a size perspective here and see. We can even, we got this. two oh, minutes. We, we also, maybe get Lexi on one of these maybe, huh? Oh, you know what? Yeah, why not? You know, at a 45 millimeter case, at a 45 millimeter case, you know, point. ladies can ladies can definitely pull off this 45 yeah. millimeter Good point. case size. Good point. We'll, we'll give uh, the ladies a chance to see this one on. And while we're doing that, let's check out Again. one of the reviews on shopnbc.com okay. because this is a customer choice item. And you can check out anytime you want on shop and see what others have had to say. Beautiful piece. This is the first time I've purchased a watch off the web, and I was nervous about buying online since I couldn't see it in real life before I bought it. Now having it in my hands, I can say that the provided images really don't do it justice. This watch is gorgeous, and it's amazing how different of a look each of these bezels provide. I'm completely satisfied. Bond's boy from Pana or Pena, Illinois. Uh, thank you for that review of this timepiece. So again, someone who. Sounds like didn't even see the live presentation here. Just saw it online and said, boy, that's kind of interesting. I want to give that watch a try. Purchased it. Now, satisfied And I know you purchase. paid more than this price because th well, yeah. this is definitely the lowest yes. price it's ever aired at. We have sold more than 1,700 of this watch. Uh, the set includes the three interchangeable bezels. And again, with the price point of 104.16, it is below where it has been presented before. It's Find never been this low. It's never. Well $20.83. And so there you go, ladies. Now, again, if that's not your style, that's fine. We do have some more traditional pieces designed for the ladies in particular later on. But this is a wonderful way to get a watch that she could wear, he could perhaps wear as well. Definitely a much sportier piece. And, and it's a quality timepiece. This is not a trinket here. Solid stainless steel, Christerna crystal, genuine leather. Leather strap, uh, mm -hmm. Swiss ISA movement here with day and date chronograph, and the way that the day is uh, displayed at the six o'clock position, it's got a little wheel with a window in it, and the window is the one that reveals the day of the week. It's pre really, really nice. Beautifully designed. It is V nine one four zero zero. First payment twenty dollars and eighty three cents. A great new sterling original timepiece to add to your collection. How about this, the Alpine Challenge Automatic. We started this hour with this timepiece, still available. The 91355, all four color choices are still there for your consideration. So you're welcome to continue to call the first time I've shown an Alpine on a stainless. And by the way, little update. The orange, I'm being told now, honest way to being sold out first. If you are interested in the orange, you're going to want to grab that one now. How about this, the more traditional look of the Emperor, a dual time zone watch, priced at $149.07. Gold tone, rose tone. Two very nice options for you. And of course, that ring of black mother of pearl. What a nice touch that is, having that gorgeous section of black mother of pearl. Then we'll give you a reminder on our Madison, also on an automatic. Many of these timepieces that we're showing you here are powered by automatic movements. V400232, silver tone, blue, and black. Your three color traces at $39.83, free value payments as well. And from there, we move into the World Traveler. Gosh, I like this one. It's so different the way that the movement indicates the time in different places on Earth. The 91337, it's only $81.53. So a nice way to, even if you're not a world traveler, maybe you have business contacts overseas, maybe you just want an impressive watch. Someone sees that, they're going to think you're a world traveler. They don't need to know that you've never left the state you were born in, perhaps. The 91337 is the right number. In this hour, we are, in fact, in a few moments, going to get right into a timepiece just for the ladies out there. But we'll also give you a heads up on a few of the other watches. It's another hour of Sterling Original timepieces with our good friend Larry Megan, uh, president of North American Operations for Sterling Original and a good friend of ours around here. We are celebrating Sterling's 200th show on Shop NBC with a couple big events going on today. Later in the hour, our Exposition Universelle is coming up. Two options on this with it. Look at the clearance. 
Mm. I just saw $99.60. We have cut our price by almost half. We were at $190. Now it's down to $99.60. The 9004. That's a 47% discount. Oh, that is just insane. And the Heritage Grand is, uh, well, not to sound like a broken record, but that is insane. $99.72 for such a great piece. That is uh, also on a 22 Jewel automatic movement. Phenomenal price point. The 90906. The one watch that I have had more emails on after our last visit is back. This is the Uptown Ozzy XL. $94.14 and then five payments of $18.83. I put that one almost in the League of the Alpine, a watch that has been such a success story for Sterling Original. And now we have just the remaining quantity and it is on clearance. So when those are gone, that is gone for good. Now, for all the ladies who have been kind enough to tune in tonight, you've been sitting through an hour of watches all for the gentlemen. Some women could wear, but otherwise they were all designed specifically for the guys. This is our thank you to all of you ladies out there. A diamond watch. Ten points, in fact, of mm -hmm. real diamonds yep. in this beautiful piece. And it's only $99.64. There's nothing even slightly unisex about this. It is designed just for the ladies. You will order based on the strap. So we have... Fairly self-explanatory options here as far as the leather strap goes, but there are some dial differences, so we'll walk you through the four options that we have. Starting with the black leather strap. Looks like a lizard strap, but it's a leather strap. Mm -hmm. There you can see the black dial with your beautiful heart, and it's there where your diamonds are placed. The white dial, oh, by the way, silver tone case on that, silver tone case on this one. On the white strap, you have the white dial with your beautiful heart as well and a silver tone case. Now we're getting into the red strap. The red strap is going to have a rose gold layered case. Also note the dial work on this one. A white dial, red strap, rose tone case. Then the brown piece right here with that white dial has a rose gold layered case as well. Beautiful brown lizard strap and again 10 points of genuine diamonds. Today is the 4th of January. I guess the next big holiday that everybody or most everybody celebrates of some form or another will be Valentine's Day. To the guys who are watching who want to get a Valentine's Day gift taken care of now so it's out of the way and you are done with it, this would be a good way to go. However, for the women who just want to treat themselves to a timepiece tonight and get some diamonds as well, Sterling has thought of you. Well, what very well said, Sean. You know, this is from our romance collection, our courtly series, and uh, the whole theme of the romance collection, of course, is the heart motif, and you can see it's got a beautiful freeform heart right on the dial here. This clearance price is fantastic. You have 10 points of genuine diamonds on the dial in that freeform heart. You're getting it for, you know, clearance price under $100 here. But I want to just make sure that everybody understands, do not be fooled by the price here, because... This is a very serious timepiece. This is not a, a, a toy. This is not a trinket here. This is a solid stainless steel case, 10 points of diamonds, a Swiss quartz movement on this piece, right. genuine French leather strap. Lexi, feel that strap on this piece. It nice, is so it? soft, it is, it's like butter on this piece. I'm, I'm telling you now, the strap is gorgeous, okay? Yep. And just to show you that no uh, detail was left you know, um, undone here. Uh, Sean, if you could show them a profile of one of these Certainly. pieces here. This is a very petite timepiece. This is not a large timepiece, okay? Uh, but for such a petite piece, you would never expect to see a curved case. But if you take a close look... Wow, that's a good observation. This case is actually curved. You say, well, you know, what's the big deal? It's much more expensive when you're talking about... This is not a cast case. Much more expensive when you have a solid stainless steel case and you're doing it curved than flat, okay? Yeah. Curved case back and a curved case. On, and a piece that, frankly, you probably don't even need to curve it is so small, but yet it is. So no details were left undone. Now you take a look at the dial work on this, Sean. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the classic Sterling dial work is there. You see the vintage German machine, the hydraulic guilloche pattern, and typically when we do what we call the guilloche soleil, which is a sunray pattern, uh, it usually emanates from the center of the dial. As we close in here on Lexi's wrist, you'll see that the uh, sunray pattern is actually emanating from the date aperture 
over there at the 7 o'clock position. And then if you take a really even a closer look at that data aperture, you're going to actually see, it looks great on Lexi's wrist, and of course Lexi's showing you the rose tone with the brown strap, which is great for those kind of ladies that like to wear the earth tone colors. But that date magnification bubble is done in the shape of a heart rather than a, a circle to carry out that that theme of the How the did I miss motif. that? You're absolutely right. Usually I catch the little things like that. That is just charming. What a nice little touch carrying through that heart design all the way to the magnification. I would say the most romantic. that interesting? Yeah, and I would say the most romantic of the colors is probably the red with the rose gold, the one yep. that you're holding there, Sean. Yeah. You well, know? and you know, you're, you're maybe starting to think about Valentine's Day, guys. You can get that gift taken care of right here, or maybe your anniversary is coming up, or you have a special woman in your life whose birthday is coming up. It's a wonderful way to get her perhaps interested in the world of watches and watch collecting. This is the kind of gift that she will wear all the time, and every time she puts this on and wears it, she's going to think of that special guy who got her that beautiful timepiece here. This is a customer choice item. And, in fact, we're going to share one of those reviews with you so you can learn a little bit more about what others have had to say on this particular timepiece. Absolutely fabulous watch. What a buy. This watch, if purchased elsewhere, would cost several hundred dollars. Regardless of that, regardless of that fact, the watch is spectacular. Many, many, many compliments on this one. Elegant, stately, yet whimsical. Love, love, love it. Thank you, Shop, NBC, and Sterling. Um, Max Line from Long Island, New York. Thank you. Or that review on shopnbc.com. You had something you were going to say. Well, I was going to say even the choice, I think, on the, the hands, a very classic choice where you have a spade-style hour hand with a plume-style minute hand, you know, uh, also the case back as well. I was well. just going to show that. I, I just noticed this on the case back. See, there's a lot of little touches, and sometimes it takes yeah. a moment to kind of take in and observe. Just the design the on the case back ties into the, you know, the name of the watch. It's got the courtly name. It's got the curved case back. Uh, but, you know, you made a, a great point, Sean, about, That's you know, odd. Valentine's Day being not that far, really right around the corner here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, hearts is a great motif, you know, for oh, Valentine's Day. That. You know, you see this one's been scratched up a little bit, but, you know, this oh, has been a sample. It's probably been around here at Shop yeah, NBC for a year already. Please, of course, yeah. Our, our watches are not uh, treated with loving care necessarily as you would have yours at home. So, But you'll notice the screws in the four corners. Mm -hmm. It's not a pop-off case back. It's no. proper, properly made here. And, Sean, while you've oh. got the strap in your hand, again, okay. I want you to feel this strap. Oh, I can't. And, and, again, it looks like a lizard strap. It is not. It's a genuine leather strap. It is so soft and so very supple, especially on the inside where it's going to be touching your wrist. Phenomenally, almost silky. I was going to, well, let's see. You can, I, I think it's here? 27 by 27, but you go ahead well, and I, I also wanted to show you with a standard ruler next you to it. You can measure it. Sometimes that helps to get you an idea how, uh, how large the watch is. 27 right on the money, Larry. You got it. 27 Yeah, it's, so it's a very petite timepiece, but it's very feminine for the ladies. Um, uh, now, you, I forgot the point I was going to make. I had one right on my, the tip of my tongue there. Well, I'll tell you, I will continue It'll come back then. To me. That's fine, because I was going to do a couple other measurements, actually, Go since ahead. I have this here, because the strap is a 16 millimeter wide genuine leather strap. So along with the smaller case size, you have a smaller strap width, so that's perfect. And a very thin timepiece. In fact, at 7 millimeters thick, oh. it's great for everyday wear. Even if, uh, another uh, point I wanted to make uh, before it gets away from us here, it's kind of an obvious one, but... A lot of times in ladies' fashion watches, and again, that's what I was saying, don't be fooled by the price, you know, they give you two hands, just hours and minutes, and sometimes you get two hands and a, and uh, a second hand. You get good three. Point. Here you've got three hands and a date, and just that by itself, a lot of times you don't get in a lady's timepiece, and it's a Swiss movement at that. So you've got three hands and a date in a Swiss movement at this price point. That alone makes it a value, even without the diamonds. Okay. Uh, I'll have to leave the measurement for another time, I guess. We ran out of time. Did I blow that for you? No, no, absolutely not. Okay. No, you were perfect. Our uh, Torino Sports on a rubber strap V91417. Coming up later in the show. First payment, $26.26. 26 nice uh, opportunity. Again, a sportier piece for the gentleman right there. First payment, $26.26. .26. So make note of that one. We have more automatics for the guys. Some dressier pieces still to get to. Some sportier pieces. Out of In fact, my next piece is going to fit more into the, the sporty category. The Pantheon multifunction. And here we have orange. We have green. We have blue. The blue is the most limited of the three that you are looking at. With a phenomenal clearance price oh, of $129.58. Yeah, this is one that... Um, by the way, first of all, 
We have fewer than 40 in any of the color choices here. And the blue is the most limited of them all with fewer than 20. 51 millimeter, I believe, is the case size on this one. I mean, you talk about a giveaway. Yeah, I mean, a deep the, discount on this one. This yeah, movement alone. Now, first of all, this is a brand new watch. I mean, we just came out with this, again, in the last 30 days. This is a brand new piece. We just came out with it. This is a 2011 model. Uh, you know, we just came out with it in December. But, um, you know, I guess, uh, you know, it's the Jubilee, so they're marking it as clearance. Sure. But it's, the bottom line is it's a great value here for you. It's the Swiss ISA 8173 movement, uh, which gives you the day and date okay but also in addition to that you're getting the uh, alarm it's got a gmt hand your, your day of the week is the sub dial at six o'clock see mm -hmm. down there your day of the week yes certainly. your date you can obviously see the date exposure over there at about the four o'clock position mm -hmm. okay there's your fourth now you can set an alarm with this and you can set a gmt now the gmt hand we have to pick one and I can explain it to show, show you which one it is, if mm -hmm. you like. Yes. On this orange one here. Mm -hmm. We come in tight right here. The GMT hand is kind of that really long needle. That's it, Sean. Thank you very much. And um, it looks like it's kind of hard to see the numbers, but they're on the dial. Can you see them there, Sean? On the bezel. Okay. Yeah, on the bezel. I'm thinking of, a, I'm thinking of our uh, tournée. Yeah. You're right. So on the bezel here, there it is. The two, three, four, those are going to be your, your hour indications for the GMT, and that needle-like hand is going to be to set your GMT. The uh, alarm hand is pointing the one with the arrow, and there it's pointing. So you, can, you set that hand to set your alarm. Now, yes. the way you would, if you push the top pusher one time, because right now the alarm is saying off, it goes to tell you the end-of-life battery, which was full, yep. and now it's in the on position and your alarm is set. And if you want to move the GMT, you actually have to hold in the bottom pusher and hold it, push it once and then hold it in. First, you, you push oh, once. Oh, I see. Push once. And then hold it, hold it, and it should start moving. It's not moving. <laughs> okay. You got to be smarter than the pusher. I know I can do it. There. It just, it's going to go this time because I just heard it beat. This time it will move. It will? It's not moving. No, it won't. Oh, uh, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We got to make this work because I know it works. I know it does too. I've done this. I've shown this watch 50,000 times. I know it works. No. All what right. am I not doing with this? Well, we got 30 <laughs> seconds left here. I promise you the very second I turn this and look at it this way off air, then it will work. Yes, of course it will. Um, I just heard mine beat too, and mine's moving. See, of course yours is, because it's not the one on camera. Oh, oh. okay, anyway, we got to go. <laughs> anyway, Live uh, great value right oh. there. Properly made, the Pantheon. Sorry we couldn't demonstrate <laughs> it for you. Oh, it just hasn't been my week. <laughs> Before 00, I hope I know this is not works, a sign of the year. I really don't. Yesterday morning, I couldn't come up with the word diver. Okay. I said... So if you know a guy who's a dive person, what? What the? It's like my mind was just in off. In other words, a diver. Right. Oh. Speaking of diver, our enterprise diver on a rubber strap watch, $129.48. First payment, $32.37. Three color choices. They only there. gave us two minutes on that one anyway. I, yeah, I know. They, they, we needed more time on that. That'll okay. be our excuse and we'll stick to it. Right. Uh, we are going to get into, actually, now, one of my all, and I'm serious when I say this, one of my all-time favorite sterling watches. Mm -hmm. I don't, there's something about this Exposition Universal. And by the way, I'm being told already this is flying out of here. So you have very good taste because yeah. we're in agreement on this. Silver this Tone is, Brown this is ridiculous. or Rose Tone Brown. The Silver Tone Brown is the one on the left. Rose Tone Brown is the one on the right side of your screen. The Rose Tone is what you are grabbing right now. This watch... It's run by mechanical automatic movement. Mm -hmm. A lot of Sterling Originals are. That's not necessarily the most unique aspect of this piece. The dial work is off the charts amazing on this timepiece. Very traditional sort of style. Very expensive sort of style. People are going to think you spent 
tens of thousands of dollars when you own a watch like this. Oh, Larry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it over to you. I'll, I'll let you decide where we start first on this one, well, because i got 500 thoughts going on. Well, here's head. the thing. This is, a co this is a collector's piece. This is oh, a connoisseur's yes. piece. This is a museum style. Yes. A museum style of piece. The Exposition Universelle, this is a, an homage. Oh. You know, in the uh, whole uh, world of watchmaking, uh, in the world of horology, there are, I, I don't know exactly how many, you want to say five, you want to say 10, you want to say 20, whatever number you want to pick. Let's say there's maybe 10 landmark designs out there. Uh, and I don't know what the proper number is, but you know, there's a handful. Certainly one of the top 10 uh, landmark designs was the triple bridge design yep. by a very small watchmaking company, Swiss watchmaking company, back in 1889, okay? They won the award at the Exposition Universelle 1889 in Paris, France. Now, at that time, Paris, France was right after the Revolution. They were all about uh, reconciliation, rehabilitation, and imperial supremacy. And they wanted to put on the greatest world expo uh, of all time to show the world that, you know, France was strong. And this one Swiss watchmaker, they entered their, and of course, we're, back then it was pocket watches, they, they entered their design of the triple bridge design, but it was on the back of the pocket watch with the triple bridge, yes. which to represent reconciliation, rehabilitation, and imperial supremacy, and they won the award. Yeah. And the triple bridge design has forever been a landmark design in watchmaking, and this is our spin on the oh. triple bridge design. We put it on the front of the watch, and of course, many, since, since then, many other watchmakers have done the same, but we've done it now on the front of the watch, a triple bridge design, as you can see, with all the blued screws. It's not about our markers. It's not no, about telling it isn't. The You're right. It's a museum piece. Yep. It's an homage. It's one of the landmark designs. It's in a nice puffed out tonneau shaped case. Uh, as you can see, oh, it's got the nice, you know, slightly domed crystal as you can see but the dome crystal is also cut in a tonneau shaped as well so it's a you know custom uh made custom dome crystal as you can see here a very dressy elegant timepiece um it may not even be a piece that you know you wear very often or you may not wear it at all if you're a collector you just want to have it in your collection you just want to look might, at it you just want to look at it but yeah. you might want to wear it's a collector's piece this is ah. a, this is a connoisseur's piece but you're picking it up at a at a Cracker Jack price. I mean, yeah. this is a great clearance opportunity here. Don't don't let this one pass you by. And it is a true mechanical automatic, by the way. And of course, by having the open heart at the 12 o'clock position, by having the balance wheel up there at the 12 o'clock position, you know that is in itself very unusual. You do not see a lot of balance wheels no. up at the 12 o'clock position. But that's the way we've rotated the movement because we're not all concerned about the hour markers and things like that. So you can have the balance wheel up at the top of the piece here, and then you've got the AM, PM down at the bottom here. So great opportunity to pick up a museum style of piece here on a true mechanical automatic. It's got what we call the Jonaquil dial technique here with that sun ray. And then you can see even the center of the dial has been cut away, revealing the Cote de Genève decoration on what's remaining of the top plates uh, you know, of the movement itself. And then you've got the, uh, you know, the triple bridge with the yeah. rose tone tri triple bridge. I hadn't even shown you the case back. Let me just do that quickly now here. The rose tone this triple just, bridge is, is only on the record. rose tone execution because the silver yes. tone you see has the silver tone. Yes, so th that's a, kind of a, a special thing to the rose tone version. But there's the case back there. You can see your rotor, mechanical automatic movement inside of here. It, 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 it truly is one for the record books. And Larry's right. It may be something you just put, if you've got one of those nice Securo storage towers with the acrylic lid, just put this in there. Just put it uh, up on the very top row so you can just look at it and just enjoy that museum quality piece in your collection. $24.90. Now, come on. We discounted it 47% for value pays of $24.90 to get home a museum quality piece. I am all over this after the show. If there's any left in that rose tone, I am so grabbing one of these after the show. A just amazing price point. That's just gorgeous, Larry. I mean, really, I, it, it, it is. is. It's, it's a phenomenal. dressy piece. Okay. I, oh, then the Time Master Symphony, the Time Master Symphony Master Calendar Watch is coming up later on. This is another one of those pieces. I don't have in my collection and been wanting. 189.44. If you want the silver tone, you need to grab that immediately. 
a 90097 that is not going to last very long but again sterling is not just about those dressy pieces as you saw they're also about some of these great casual pieces and here is one of those very sporty watch the torino lista multifunction right now let me walk you through the four choices here we have a couple that are very very limited and um, well in fact overall i think i have a total of 37 of these watches that's it so you're dividing that into four two of the choices more limited than the other so here we go we'll show you the four different options that we have because there's going to be some subtle differences between the four so here we go starting with the left and we'll work across because you're going to order based on the the strap and the case color so this is the black rose tone black strap rose tone case and you can see the Dial touches there. We'll get into the movement and everything on this in just a second here. I have fewer than a dozen in that black rose tone. The next one is orange rose tone. Fewer than a half dozen in the orange and rose tone. Rose tone case, but the bezel is done just in stainless. It does have some rose accents on it. Next, black and silver tone. The maybe more stealthy of the pieces. Fewer than a dozen and a half remaining. But again, the black silver tone is still going to have the black bezel. Then the white silver tone is our fourth choice. That will have the black bezel. We have fewer than a dozen remaining of the white silver tone. Since this one is closest, I'll just grab this one. And also, it's probably the most legible, at least as far as seeing the dials for television purposes, so you can make out this movement that you're getting. Well, uh, speaking of the movement, uh, to me, that's what makes this piece a great buy right here. This is that same Citizen Miyota JR00 that we talked about earlier that's, that we used in the, Gen X, in the Gen X. Now, the Gen X had, you know, that incredible design with the bridge mm -hmm. that was built mm -hmm. up and everything. But now, take a look at this. It's the same movement where you see the retrograde day of the week yep. down here at the uh, lower right quadrant here around the 4 or 5 o'clock position, Okay. And then you've got your 24-hour indicator over there at 9. You've got your pointer date hand up at 12. So here you're getting that exact same movement at a fraction of the cost, okay? But it's done in more of a daily sport wear watch. Sure. You've got a nice rubber strap here. Uh, you've got a reliable Citizen Miyota movement on this piece as well, which is a quartz movement here. You know, you don't have to worry about that. It's always going to be spot on, okay? It's in a nice 49-millimeter case design for you guys that do like the you know, those larger timepieces and everything. And then as far as the rubber strap, it's properly done, as you can see. Perfect case, oh, seam seamless case integration. It's not just a gap between the strap and the case here. And then the texturization on this, you know, man, I've been back and forth with Jim on this one. What's that? You know, I, to me, it looks like a cobblestone, kind of a street kind of a thing. What does he say? Jim says it looks like rhinoceros skin. You know, I, I mean, he has a point, Sean. <laughs> Where does Jim come up with these Well, things? I mean, you know, if you look at it, I mean, it, it could be. When's the last time he's been close to a rhinoceros so he would know anyways? But he has a good point because... Oh, it, I, I So I, I myself yes. don't know if it's cobblestone or rhinoceros, right. but either way, it's a very nice... Uh, I'm with strap. you. Cobblestone. V91415. Seriously, how does his mind work that he even thinks of that? That's amazing. Well, it kind of looks like a rhinoceros skin now that he mentions it. Now that he mentions it, but again, that's not right front of mind with me. I wouldn't have thought of that immediately. Okay. This is our Artemis Gentile multifunction later on in the hour here. Look at some of these discounts. 190 to 119.87. Yeah, that's that's an oh. amazing, amazing buy. I can't, are we going to do that piece now? We'll or? be getting to that in a few minutes. Oh, okay. That's coming okay. up uh, actually near the uh, in the second half. B90300. Okay. Actually, what we're going to get to now is another one of these this classic looks. It's called the Heritage Grand. Oh! -ho. Um, yeah, Low here we bridge. go again. I know. $99. I'm telling 72 you now, guys. cents. You're going to want to grab this. Everybody needs to jump on this. Yeah. Two choices, very straightforward gold tone or rose tone. Now, I, I've done this watch before, and I just did off air here exactly what I do every time because. I look at these notes, and it says 44 millimeter. And I say to myself, ah, it's larger. No, it's and so I measure it, it's 44 millimeter. Yeah. This is like the third time I've done that, but it always, to me, plays larger. Yeah, because no bezel. I mean, it's got yeah, a exactly. super a hairline bezel. But you know, this is fantastic. This is definitely uh, a signature piece for us is our yeah. heritage. Uh, our original heritage was 42. 
Then about, uh, I want to say, at least two years ago, maybe three years ago, we went to the Grand, which is the 44. This is the larger version. Uh, the, the difficulty with the larger version, of course, is getting the larger mother of pearl. Even at 44, mm -hmm. it still takes a good size mother of pearl to get, to get into this size. Uh, but this is it from our classic collection, our Heritage Series. And as far as I know, I mean, I, I would say this will always be a part of Sterling Originals. Uh, collection for you know many many years to come because it, it never goes out of style just a classic dress piece beautiful mother of pearl dial uh, this is sterling original all the way mechanical automatic with small seconds a very elegant choice uh, of a movement here to have small seconds it just gives it just that little extra uh, grace and elegance it's an extra complication yeah. typically when we talk about complications complications are anything other than simple time yeah. simple time means hours minutes and seconds however in this case even though it's seconds it is a complication because it's been taken off of the center axis and now it requires an extra gear mm -hmm. once it requires an extra gear it becomes a complication so you have a small seconds complication at the nine o'clock position you've got your date aperture down there at the six o'clock position beautiful and elegant leaf style hands you can see that with the super luminova on those leaf style hands you've got the angled flange with the semi spherical luminous dots going around that angled flange right there just very very elegant and these two choices right here take your pick flip oh, yeah. a coin yeah i mean right. rose tone black or gold tone black it's hard to pick which one is more elegant or more dressy than the other. At this price, get one of each. Um, Truly. Yeah, Larry's absolutely right. It's I, gorgeous. It, oh, it, it's beyond gorgeous. You know, I'm going to do... And, and I have to say, I, I mean, now, I, I, I'm not saying I'm definitely right, but I'm 99% right. I can't do it. I know. I'm going to say, watch. Is, I don't think we've ever had it at this price. I mean, I, you know, I didn't look back at the history on this, but I, I can't imagine. Has it ever been lower? I don't think been, so. I've never seen this at $99. I personally. think we had it at like 100 something or 119 yeah. maybe, but. You know, I, I just, we talked about 44 millimeter case diameter. Listen to this number, because your Cristerna crystal measures 41 millimeters. So do the subtraction. That's a three millimeter difference between the crystal size and your diameter. That then, you means, gotta, then you got to divide that in two, because you're going all, but you're taking on both sides, so it's yeah. one and a half millimeters. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's the point I was getting to. Yeah, so you have about a millimeter and a half on the bezel of a bezel. That's not even really a bezel. That's just the edge of the case, basically. Yeah, that's about well, that's nothing, and that's why this plays larger. So when you look, and I, I've triple checked this, it's 44 millimeters in diameter, but it will play larger simply because you don't have that bezel there. You want to show them the movement? Oh, didn't we? You're right. I'm I don't sorry. know. Maybe you no, did. No, you're right. We didn't. We didn't. Well, you I, see, I it's got the right. notched edges going around the outer perimeter of the case back there, so you know it's a threaded case back. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we have time to let Lexi have a whack at this, but uh, ladies can wear this as well. Ladies in the Let's business try world. Let's try that. I, you know, usually I'm a little more cautious when it comes to uh, having this, a woman uh, model a gentleman's watch, but this is one. Of course, one, all I of those kind of medieval style and numbers right there are all individually applied to the uh, mother of pearl as well. Beautiful onion style crown, genuine leather strap with the alligator embossing. Just as classy and elegant and dressy, a signature piece for us. Mm -hmm. um, just fantastic. I hope everybody in Sterling Nation makes sure they get at least one of these. We've broken 1,100 ordered here on Shop NBC. And it's that's been a very only these piece. two executions. That's just it. Yeah. There's two other executions on this as well. Yeah, that, that's just these. That's Boy, just that is good looking number. on Lexi. I w I'm always a little hesitant with guys' watches on women, but no, that, that is great. The, what did you say, Mike, on that last update? I'm sorry, we have fewer than four dozen in each one of these now. So that counter is reaching its limit here. We don't have many of these remaining there. Wow. One do what you got to do, guys. That price point, $99.72. We have a ton of you taking advantage of that. And indeed, you're welcome to continue to call in as long as we have any of those available. So we move forward here. Um, second half of this Sterling show getting underway right now. We have another half hour with you and then uh, some jewelry, 9 to 5 Fusion at the top of the hour. This is the Enterprise Diver on a rubber strap. There are three color options for you. A, boy, I love that purple. The purple, mm -hmm. the black, or the red. 
Uh, we are going to offer this one today on four value payments as well. So not only is it only $129.48, it's on four payments of $32.37. Three of the most unique, well, two. The, the black is pretty straightforward, but two certainly are the most unique colors, too, that have been used because the purple and the red tones that are utilized on this one are not what you usually see or think of when you think of purple and red. Well, this is our Enterprise, one of our big hits for 2010 for sure. Uh, 53 millimeter case design. Uh, it's pretty massive, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but if you take a look at the curvature of the lugs, uh, this one feels so comfortable on the wrist. You never in a million years would think you're wearing a 53 millimeter watch. No. Um, most, I mean, most guys I know that have this piece, they tell me they want to get other colors of it. Um, you know, they, they can't wait to get a new color in it and everything else. We came out with the new Enterprise EX2 in the same case that doesn't have the chronograph. But this one here has the StarTech 5030D. So you have a, a world-class Swiss quartz chronograph movement in here with the 5030D here. Add and split functionality. You know, we could have put a lot, you know, less expensive movement in this piece, and you'd probably love the look and the, the watch just the same. But you have a great movement in this timepiece. Mm -hmm. There you see I've started up the chronograph. The large second <coughs> hand is now in right. now, motion. Right. Do me a favor, Sean. I yes. want you to stop it with the bottom pusher. All right. So Done. He, so now listen. Sean just stopped the, the chronograph with the bottom pusher at approximately 18 seconds. Right okay? you are. And we're still continuing to talk. Beautiful, as you call it. Are we calling this purple? Is that what they're calling purple it? Purple right, Now, is. as we kept talking, now Sean's going to activate it with the bottom pusher again. Watch what happens. Roop. It jumped ahead About to, where, seconds, to yeah. where it would have been had he not stopped it at all. Mm -hmm. That is called split timing. Yes. Okay? Not all chronograph timepieces can do split timing. Uh, the more the can't than can, that's okay? for, for Most sure. Most of the citizens yeah. won't do it. Yeah. Okay? I mean, some of them do. But I'm just saying, this is the Ronda StarTech. 50, 30 D, six jewels, all metal parts. Most quartz movements don't have any jewels, okay? Yeah. You have a world-class quartz chronograph movement in this piece that gives you not only add timing, but split timing as well. Yeah. For you guys who like to run track, you always want to check your splits. You can do it with this timepiece. The uh, red so, is almost sold out, by the way. We have a but that's the, that's the inner working. That's the guts. Now take a look at this beautiful case design here. And uh, to do that, you got to see the profile on this. I don't think we'll even try to have Lexi try this one on. This is well, just too massive. We don't even have the time. we got 10 seconds left, oh, so i got to wrap and this also up. This, notice how soft that silicone rubber is. This is, is one of the finest silicone rubber straps I have literally ever felt. I'm crazy about this one. That is J uh, V item numbers. That's right, V91558. Okay. Super comfortable. Congratulations to all who have picked that one up. Again, that is probably more for the guys. For the ladies out there, we had our Quartzly Diamond Swiss Quartz watch. Priced at $99.64 and your first payment $24.91. Red is the most popular of that one. Good choice, ladies. I know you will enjoy that. V90874 is that number. We have something uh, back into the sporty arena or staying in the sporty arena of the Sterling Original Timepieces with our next one. This is the Monterey Sport Watch. We have this available in, and my info showed two choices here. Uh, silver tone, silver tone is your choice. There's a handful available in a black, black choice. So your dial would be black. The outer dial as well would be black. This is the silver tone, silver tone, as they're calling it. It's priced at $63.49. Now again, I know, I, I was just going to say, this is a watch with a Swiss movement for $63.49. Well, first of all, I I'm shocked that we only have one piece here because I know we made this in five executions. Yeah, so th these are all we have left. So, so basically what you're probably seeing here is, is like the, the, the old shopkeeper that he bought 100 dresses and once he sold out like 70 of them, he gave the last 30 away just to get rid of them. Yeah. I mean, that must be what's happening here because this is our Monterey Sport right here, our model 219. and. Uh, this is a, uh, I mean, this was a big seller for us, man. Uh, this is a 44 and a half, 45 millimeter case design, uh, inspired by a very high-end, uh, you know, uh, auto race inspired look. And um, I guess we just have the one execution yeah. here. So 
And it's, it's a great execution here because this one will go with everything. Yeah. Take advantage of this. Well, this is down to our, our final quantity, so when this one it's is got, gone, that is it's it. It's got that serpentine tire tread pattern going down the center of the dial. It's textured into the dial, as you can see. It's got that same serpentine tire tread pattern on the rubber strap as well. Mm -hmm. Swiss quartz movement. All of those bullet markers that you can see going around, those are all individually applied to the dial. The Arabic 12 and 6 is the signature look of this timepiece. In fact, let me tilt this down a little bit so you can see that same pattern that you see. Actually, I'll just take it off the little acrylic there. There you can see that same design, that tire tread, if you will, mm -hmm. is in your rubber strap, or that is part of your genuine rubber strap. And again, just a nice, soft, almost silky rubber strap, so it feels great on as you're wearing it. Right. Well, I know you're going to model this for us. I am halfway there since it's off the little display. I will put this one on. Would we say the case size was 44 on this one? I believe 44 and a half. But, you know uh, what, again, again, I think it's the larger crystal is what's confusing me. It, yeah, 44. So, uh, but it does play maybe even a little bit larger because of that large window, so you can look through and see that dial so very, very clearly. This is kind of the opposite. You know, we had that one with the triple bridge earlier that I love so much. This is kind of the opposite of that. On that watch, we even said it's not necessarily about telling time. On this one, it is straightforward, easy to look at, easy to read, nice large window. You can look down and you can tell the time. Great everyday sport watch yes. right here, guys. I mean, wear this one to the park, walk the dog, go to the store, pick up the kids, wear it to the office, wear it you know, out, out to the ball game, whatever you want to do. Great everyday sport watch right here. Don't be fooled by the price. This is a solid stainless steel case. This is not a cast case. This is not a base metal case. This is a Cristerna crystal. This is not a mineral crystal, okay? This is a Swiss quartz movement, guys. Uh, not a Japanese quartz movement, which is nothing wrong with that. We do lots of the Japanese quartz, as you know. We use a lot of citizen movements here, but this one is a Swiss movement. Uh, don't be fooled by the price on this, guys. This is just a flat-out giveaway at the end of a lot or something like that. That's all I can figure because there's only one execution here. Take advantage of this. Just a fantastic everyday sport watch from mm -hmm. Sterling Original. Great opportunity. And, and yeah, I mean, I'm not going to build this into something it isn't. It is, as Larry said, an everyday sport watch. I'm not saying this is one that is necessarily going to turn heads when you're wearing it. It's that timepiece, though, that's reliable, accurate, dependable, that you will go to for its accuracy and dependability because of the Swiss movement that you're getting here, Swiss quartz movement. And anytime you're just you're on the go, it's a busy weekend, and you just want a good-looking, sporty timepiece on your wrist. Here it is. Not every guy, in fact, these days, Larry and I are in the minority when it comes to how we dress for work. I'm in a suit and tie. You frequently have a tie on as yeah. well and a, mm -hmm. a suit. Most guys don't do that for you work know, I, anymore. I knew I was working with you, and I knew I should wear a tie. Yes. But it, I really... How are you going to tie a tie? I, well, I couldn't get someone to help me tie a tie yes. at the hotel. <laughs> You're just going to milk this thing for all it's worth. No, if I take could have advantage someone, of could it, help things. me, you know, tie a tie. Now, I'm going to take one exception to one thing you said there, what? okay? What's you said it's not going to turn heads. Well, I, the reason I'm going to take a small exception to you with that... Please do. ...is because this particular look is inspired by a very high-end Swiss brand, and I can't say the name okay. here. Okay, okay. And a lot of times That's people do, you know, like to say that, you know, Sterling is, takes inspiration from all these brands. But we always make them our own. We yeah, don't run right. away from it. We stand right before you and tell you. We, because not everybody can afford to pay five or $10,000 or more for a watch, okay? Yeah, that's true. Well, the look that this is inspired by, the brand that it's inspired, they sell their watches for many thousands of dollars. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, there will be people that look at this watch on your wrist and they're going to think that you're wearing a watch that costs $5,000. I can't argue with that. So yeah. when you that, say that's it doesn't turn point. heads, I point. don't know. Yeah, I mean, that is a valid point. So it does. This yeah. the watch will turn heads if it's yeah. the right heads. V nine zero, the ones that know that watch definitely would be the, uh, right. the right heads. V nine zero one four six is your item number. Almost a perfect five star review. Don't miss out on the lowest price ever offered on this beautiful bezel cuff from Design Studio Silver from Bali. Handcrafted from beautiful sterling silver, it features artistic filigree work that pops against a dramatic oxidized finish in a variety of colorful stones. Take advantage of six value payments while they're still valid. Tune in for Design Studio Silver from Bali, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Shop and Base. And now more sterling. 
In fact, as we do continue with, uh, what number are we up to here? I've lost track. Number eight. We are, oh, yes, okay. And I, I wear my emotions on my sleeve out here, I know, and you can, because I've had people say, boy, Sean, I can tell when you're really in love with something. I'm really in love with this one, and I hope that that is contagious, and I hope you can uh, feel that excitement and that energy as well. On the Time Master Symphony Master Calendar Watch. Now, okay, I'm just going to grab one of these right away. I just, the silver tone is so limited. If you would like that, you do want to order immediately. A moment ago, I made a comment, a watch that I, I said may not turn heads. Oh, this will. This is going to turn heads. People that especially know their fine high-end timepieces are going to be all over you when you are wearing this watch. A master calendar, it is indeed just that. Look, however, and I, there's executions just off the chart here. Larry said earlier, anything outside of your standard time of day is a complication in a watch. This has many. Your price is $189.44. First value payment, $37.89. Guys, you are going to want to grab this watch. I'm just winding it up a little bit, get that second hand moving again. It's a mechanical automatic, and so you'll uh, have that fun of winding your watch and the responsibility of doing that to keep it. Of course, if you're wearing it, it's going to stay wound, and boy, are you going to be wearing this one all the time. I'll let you decide where we begin on this one. Well, uh, you're absolutely correct, Sean. I mean, this is a, a no-brainer. Everybody's got to run to the phone right now. This yeah. is our Time Master Symphony. It's legendary. It's about five years now with us. And, you know, I'm hoping that we, we, we do more with this. I've been begging I us to do too. more with this, uh, maybe make some new executions and things like that. There might be some coming in 2011. We've been talking about it. But here's the thing. This oh, is, first gosh. and foremost, a regulator. A regulator yep. means that your hour hand and minute hand are on separate axes. So... Here, that, what, that big long hand that, that Sean is winding around yeah. is the minute hand. Mm -hmm. The hour hand is in the sub-dial at 12 yeah. o'clock. 4 o'clock. Okay, so right now, it's, the hour hand is pointing to 4, and the minute hand is straight up. It's 4 o'clock. Yeah. Now, I want to show you that before you do anything, the idea behind a regulator is that the hour hand, I mean, excuse me, the minute hand should not obscure the hour hand. Right. Okay, but twice a day. Because typically with most watches, you know, when it's, uh, five after one or ten after two, you know how the minute hand will cover sure. up the hour hand. Sure. Well, they call this a doctor's watch because in a doctor's world, in a life and death situation, he should never have to worry about the hands cr covering each other up. So they call it a doctor's watch. Well, uh, this was done in observatory clocks in the 1930s. Well, with this one, the Time Master Symphony, Go ahead, all the, keep going around till it's 12 o'clock straight up. Okay, we have because 30 it, seconds. Here, I understand, so, even yeah. with regulators, they will cut, obscure each other at 12 o'clock straight up. But with this one, well. <laughs> with this one, this minute hand is so skeletonized, you can yeah, see right can through see it. it. So you not only have a regulator, but you also have a master calendar, day, date, and month, yep. and a regulator, and a 24 hour indicator. Yep operating all off oh. of a single mainspring. It's a giveaway if it's a quartz, oh, but it's a mechanical watch. automatic. It's unbelievable. 44 millimeter case design, coin edge bezel, Time Master Symphony. You oh. gotta jump on that. Yes, you do. 189.44, first payment, $37.89. Oh my word. Our hit of the show, no shock. Our Exposition Universelle, $99.60. We have both color op Well, let me ask. Do we still have both color options there? We do. Rose Tone is outselling, listen to this, three to one. So it's very obvious that that will be the first one to go. The 90048. Oh, is that that's the collector's steel piece of the show? Absolutely right. We have not seen a ton on stainless bracelets today. We're going to make up for that in a very big way because, wow, what a stainless bracelet this actually is that you are about to get on Good the point. Artemis Good Gentile point. for $119.87. You know, there are, I don't usually start a watch presentation talking strictly about the jewelry aspect, the stainless steel bracelet, but I'm going to just for a moment here because there are ways you can cut corners in manufacturing watches. One of them is on the bracelet. If you're going to put a stainless steel bracelet on a tying piece, you can take those those links you've seen they look like multi-row bracelets but it's all one piece and save yourself a ton of money doing it that way or you can do it properly and as sterling has with a true 
I got to count. One, two, three, seven. four. Seven row yeah. link bracelet here. Yeah. And not only that, wow. but angled links at that, which is even more. Oh, that's adds The angled links right. makes it even trickier, more difficult, more expensive, more labor intensive, everything yeah. um, with the angled links. Uh, but you're absolutely correct, Sean. And, and this one over here has the two tone. Yep. Uh, but uh, this is our Artemis Gentile. And this is a fantastic, fantastic buy right now. And the reason it's a fantastic buy, most people may not know, but I'm going to tell you the movement. This is, it's a master calendar, which gives you the day, date, and month, but it also gives you a genuine moon phase. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that in itself makes it a fantastic buy. Day, date, month, and genuine moon phase, meaning not AM, PM, but full moon, quarter moon. It lets you know when we're coming into a full moon, okay? But let's take it one step further. The okay. movement is manufactured by techno time. This is a techno time movement, master calendar with moon phase. You can't even buy this movement anymore. Techno time is not going to even make it anymore. You got to go to Rhonda to buy this movement now. Which, oh, really? Which we've begun doing, and Rhonda makes a beautiful version of this, oh. of this movement here. But this is the techno time movement here, guys. And, you know, techno time is the same company that makes tourbillon movements. Uh, this is a steal. This is a steal, okay? We wish we could buy more of these movements, uh, hmm. but Techno Time's not making them anymore. You got to go to Rhonda to get it. Techno okay. Time is one of the biggies, guys. Uh, fantastic. Now let's look at the timepiece here. Great everyday watch for the office. I believe this is a 44, Sean. Oh, let's. Find is that was that what it out. tells you on the card? It says 44. Sean doesn't need any stinking cards. You got that right, Larry Megan. Okay, what does it say? That's 44. All right, 44 millimeter, but it has that nice kind of serrated edge on the bezel. You've got the angled flange with the, uh, you know, the minute and the second uh, track going in on the angled flange. You've got the nice stick markers that are applied to the dial as well. A nice clean dial with all those subdials in there. You see that mm. big full moon. You know, the full moon it co that comes around, it makes, that disc makes one full rotation every 57 days. Because it's got two moons on the disc. Oh, so you're right. You, okay. get, you get a full moon every 28 and a half days. So, yeah. you know, now it's not being done on automatic. It's a quartz. No. But nevertheless, it's a quartz from Techno Time. An absolute steal of a timepiece here, guys, and a steal of a deal. And a nice looking everyday oh, semi dress perfect. piece. I mean, you can yeah. wear this all dressed up with the most, you know, expensive suit yeah. in the world. You know. But uh, this is a great, uh, you know, casual and dress. You Just have a fantastic your, buy. Your date display uh, over at nine o'clock, above that at twelve. Your month over on the right side. Your day, that full calendar is all right there. And I think uh, all of us have a, a time, at least during the course of a day, at least once, where you're saying, "What is today's date?" Sometimes it's even, "What day is it today?" Especially when you work the kind of hours I work here. That happens a lot. So it's kind of wonderful to have those features and those complications right there. Well, uh, yes, sir. I was going to just say, yeah. if you're one of those guys out there that likes to collect movements, I mean, you like the look designs yes. and all that kind of thing, this is one to get in your collection if you don't have this techno time movement right here. Well, and that's an excellent point. And there have been times I've purchased watches just because it has a particular watch movement that I don't have in my collection, and you want that. And so this would be a good way to do that, and especially now on the news that Larry has given us, that you can't get these movements anymore, that you would have to go to Rhonda to get these movements here. So that really does make this a collector's piece for you. Silver tone, silver tone, that's the one I've been focusing on for no particular reason here. The silver tone rose tone is your two-tone choice. So if you want a little more versatility maybe, perhaps a little bit dressier, then you're gonna wanna get that. But I'll tell you, when you feel this solid stainless steel bracelet and feel the fluidity that you get out of those seven rows, those are all, every block is separate. Every single piece, as you can see, a separate piece. The bracelet. Of stainless yeah. steel. The bracelet alone is worth a ton of money here. So that is a phenomenal way to get all of this with one payment of $29.97. The 90300. That is gorgeous. Beautiful piece. And again, maybe the two tone stands out a little bit more for you. Get the one that you like, whichever one that might happen to be as we continue with. In fact, actually, what we're kind of doing, saving. I don't want to say the best for last. That might be a little cliche, but well, might be fact as well. The Uptown Ozzy is a watch that we've offered on a fairly regular basis when we have them in stock in different styles and executions. We have had automatic versions. We've had quartz movement versions. We've had them on leather straps. Now we have them on the stainless steel bracelet. This is a very famous design. Mm -hmm. Talk about a watch that will turn heads. 
Absolutely. Will this turn heads, especially among watch collectors and yeah. guys who know fine timepieces, they're going to look at this watch and uh, bells go off in their head. Well, there are other versions of this. By no means did Sterling invent this design. This is Sterling's take on the design, that's for sure, and what a mm -hmm. wonderful take it is. You can spend thousands of dollars, or you can spend $94.14. Now, I... Honestly, this is the larger version. I don't know if that other company makes one of this size. No, they don't. Okay, okay, they don't. Actually, you know, it's funny, they don't, but, uh, you know, uh, they, have, <laughs> they, they have one that's about this big that if you're an <laughs> authorized dealer, okay, yes. it's, it's like a thing that you can, it, it's, for the authorized dealers. Like a dealers, display they, piece? A display, and it's yeah. a genuine clock. Really? And it looks like the head of the watch, and it's awesome. Well, that'd be interesting. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's like a foot tall. It's pretty okay. awesome. <laughs> wow. Not something you wear on your wrist. No, but, no, certainly but not. Pretty awesome. But we do have two choices here, the silver tone or the black version of the Uptown Ozzy XL. We say XL, why? Well, because the original, our original Uptown Ozzy was a 45 millimeter case from 12 to 6. When we went to the... Larger size, we went. We called it XL because it was such an ingenious way to decide that it was bigger, you know, yes. XL. But anyway, we went 50 millimeters from 12 to 6. So this is now 50 millimeters from 12 to 6. But the other thing we did is we curved the case. The original Uptown Ozzy is not curved. No. And it doesn't really need to be, although it could have been, but it's not. This one has the curvature of the wrist. Now, I will say this. If your wrist, I would say, is less than 7 and a quarter, I'd mm -hmm. say it's too big. Okay. Now, with the strap version, this is actually our Uptown Aussie XL Elite, okay? Mm -hmm. The Uptown Aussie XL is the one on the leather strap. This is the Elite, which is on the bracelet. On the leather strap, you, it would wrap the wrist immediately, you're okay. But on the Elite, because of the solid end link integration, the way that the, the end links kind of jut out, right. if you're like seven and a quarter, below seven and a quarter, it doesn't really wrap the wrist. Now, I've had people below seven and a quarter buy it, and they say they don't mind it. They wear it like a bracelet. They don't care. Sure. Uh, you're going to have to have links removed anyway, but they don't mind it being loose. But, Sean, I just noticed when you were wrapping it, there was a gap there. So I just want to point that out. Now, on me, there's certainly, you know, no problem there. Right. But this is gorgeous, guys. You're going to love this. The value here is fantastic. Another thing we did when we went to the larger version is we changed the movement. The original just had three hands and a date. This one... It has the Ronda, I believe it's the 5, I want to say 505, I, I don't remember the number, but in any case, it gives you the three hands with the day and date, what does it say? I can't see without my glasses. Oh. I'm sorry, Sean. 507. I'm not just, five, 507? I knew it was 50 something. 507. But uh, not only day and date, but you see where it says Mar? Mm -hmm. That's not March. Oh, you're right. I'm. Of course, it isn't. That's Mardi. Yes. This is bilingual day and date. You can set it to French or English. So Mardi would be for Tuesday. Yes. Now here's Wednesday, which would be. And then if you go again, that's Mercredi. Mercredi. Yep. So oh, once you set, you know, there's Thursday, yeah. and then the next one would be Jeudi. Yes. For French. Yes. And so then Friday. Vendredi. Vendredi. Very yes. nicely done. So when you leave it on Saturday. one, it'll stay yeah, in pick, that mode. You can either pick French or English, and yes. then it automatically, samedi, and then dimanche. Yes. Okay. So you can pick your French or your English, okay. and then it'll stay on French or it'll stay on English. Okay. So you have <laughs> three hands with bilingual day and date. That alone makes this a steal. Now, yeah. let's take a look at the design. You've got that beautiful guilloche soleil pattern with our vintage German machines with the, you know, sunray pattern. You've got the applied, you know, multicolored numerals going around the triple step design on the solid stainless steel case. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got the luminous uh, tips on the hour and minute hand. You've got the curved case and then the bracelet. You know, we were just talking about a <sighs> seven another bracelet. another one. Yeah. Uh, this one's got all these little tiny pieces in there as well. Uh, all, you know, once again, a seven row bracelet, yeah. once again, with all separate little blocks, separate pieces, uh, not an easy bracelet to have links removed. Let your jeweler do this one. Oh, you know, that's an excellent <laughs> point. There I are mean, times where you, you're better off letting the professionals do I mean, do you can adjustment. do it. I know yeah. guys have done it, but, you know, they all start moving and going. You got to get yeah, them all they, lined they, up. Yeah. It's... You got to get them lined up. It does have the push button butterfly deployant. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
right there. Just the most beautiful piece of jewelry right, right. there. I've been focusing on the silver tone. Let me grab the black version, oh, too. The black, so uh, the black is the one that I blue. personally own. I've been saying forever I'm going to go back and get the stainless steel one, Ooh, uh, which really I haven't done sharp. it yet because there's always another one I want and another one I want and another one well, I want. Well, that's been the case to, tonight, again, yeah. with some of, so but many of these pieces At this here. price, guys, you can't let this one pass you by. If you don't own one of these, pick one and get one. Yeah. Uh, if you already have one, come back and get the other, because this is a great opportunity. And uh, they're giving it on five VP, Sean. We do indeed. Right you are. Have five value payments, so $18.83. That one easy interest-free value the black. payment. And the black is just so sharp with all the colors that you have on all of your numerals. And with that high polish on the black, it's so liquidy black, yep. you know? It's like well, That's liquid. a good description, actually. Yeah, it, it, really it is, is absolutely that. But you can see the dial work <laughs> on these pieces. And Sterling, of course, known for their dial work. This is just a yet another great example of the fine, fine quality. You don't see a lot in rectangular cases, so I think that's another reason I'll why I'll tell you, and you better. know what? But ladies love this, too. As big as it is, ladies love to wear this. It's very fashionable. And don't think with these multicolored numerals, this can't be a dress piece. This is very, oh, very dressy. Absolutely it is. Uh, quick customer choice review, then we'll give Lexi an opportunity to wear this as well. But let's see what someone else had to say on this watch from Monterey, California. HD Tony says a bold statement. Bought this as a gift for my brother-in-law, but once I, once I opened it, I kept it. Atta boy. I did order another for him. I ordered the black case, a bold statement. Find it to be a comfortable fit, and I'm wearing a suit. And if I'm wearing a suit or jeans, I get compliments on this. A must-have for any collector. Thank you indeed for that review. I love that. Bought it as a gift, decided to keep it. Nothing wrong with that. And you can see almost perfect five-star reviews. Quick glance at this on Lexi's wrist. And, and I do agree. Ladies, if you like a little bit longer watch. You know, width-wise, it's not the biggest piece in the world. It's the length where you're really getting all of that impression right there. So a very sleek, very um, uh, fashionable kind of piece. V outstanding, outstanding. Eight seven is your item number. Give you a quick reminder and a few of the pieces here. By the way, don't forget the big event tonight, Sterling's Jubilee Show. We'll talk about the time in just a moment. First though, our ladies' courtly diamond Swiss court strap watches, $99.64. Your first value payment, $24.91. All four color options. The red has been the big seller. If that's the one you want, you're gonna want to order that one quickly. And our exposition, the Universal Automatic is $99.60. We're still taking your calls on that. And especially with four value payments of $24.90. A good opportunity for you. V90048, the Rose Tone outselling by a three to one margin, the brown version. So obviously that is going to be the first one to go. Our Heritage Grand, right here, priced at $99.72. V90906, Rose Tone. Gold Tone, your two choices, the reviews on that, well over four-star reviews. First payment, $33.24, Good looking piece. And we will also remind you about our Artemis Gentile Multifunction, clearance price of $119.87. First payment, $29.97. Very impressive bracelet on that. Fewer than three dozen in the rose and silver, so that one is going to be the first one to go. As I mentioned, though, there is a big Sterling event tonight. Do you recall the time that it kicks off, Larry? Uh, is it 5 p.m. Eastern? I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was I, later than that, actually. Uh, maybe it's 6 p.m. Eastern. You just uh, asked me what time it kicks off, right? Yes. I kicked off tonight with us. No, but when 5 p.m. Central, I'm being told, is when tonight's okay, 6 event. 6 p.m. Eastern. I was right. 6 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> so we will look forward to tuning in tonight. And uh, thank you, Larry. Thank you, you, Sean. So take care of yourself now. Get better. We are going to remind you about coming up in a moment. I have some 925 Fusion jewelry, and Carmel is going to be joining me for a presentation on some gorgeous jewelry items. So please come right back as the shopping continues. You're watching Shop NBC. Own a watch that represents more than just timekeeping, but a symbol of style. Join Shop NBC for the largest Sterling Original Watch Show of the month, celebrating their 200th show. 
Tune in for exciting new designs, returning customer favourites and all watches will be on Jubilee pricing. Now is the time to own a watch that represents traditional appeal with the enhanced 21st century modern flair. It's all during the Sterling Original Watches 200th Jubilee. Tonight, 6pm Eastern on Shop NBC.